Welcome back to the what might be the biggest special panel than normal has ever had. I am proud to bring to you what the, actually the first of two 1980s alien movies brackets. And yes, it's <laughs> it's going to be a shit show, folks. We have 38 amazing 80s alien movies. Okay, they're not all amazing. I lied about that part, but 38 movies. Some amazing, some should never have been made and should be burned in the fire, but we'll get to that in a minute. And, and as always, yeah. as always, I brought guests with me to help me break down this bracket, and you're not going to recognize most of them, and that's the best part. We have new people! Yay! And to introduce them off real fast, as fast as possible to new people, I am proud to have Chad from the Not Quite Cool podcast on for the first time. How's it going, Chad? Hey guys, it's doing good. And for the first time on this show, and first time working with them completely, actually, Felix from the Mod Squad from Movie Mondays, I believe it's called, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, uh, Movie Talk Mondays, the horror show. Um, only one I'm not on is The Gamer. We go live every Saturday with a giveaway. And also introducing, and Harley says you're all slackers, but. Mm -hmm. Uh, Kevin from fucking Christ, it just left my head. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Retro review. Yes. Close. Re yeah. Back to the retro review. Back to the back retro to the, review. Yeah, well. yeah. And the Mod Squad, but back to the retro review. Review movies from the 70s, 80s, 90s, and 1000s. But yeah, I'm glad to be here, man. Glad to have you on. And next, and two newcomers. And actually, the fact that they're in order, or alphabetically, just kind of works. Leo and Mike from the Films and Fermentation podcast. Glad to have you guys on for the first time. Yeah, thanks for having my, us on. My pleasure, Leo. If that was you, if that was you, if that was you, if that was you, that, was you, that was you that talked first, Leo, you were a little bit, you're a little bit low in the volume, but not now. Much better. And last but not least, I just got to record with him on his show last weekend, so. I was proud to get them, bring them on. Tyler from Geek Talk with Tyler podcast. Glad to see, glad to be working with you so fast again, buddy. Hey, thanks for having me. And I am also the uh, producer, voice director, and scriptwriter for the upcoming audio series, The Undateable X Men. That's what's up. I cannot wait to listen to that. I really can. I, I am telling you, <laughs> that's. Awesome. Undeatable X-Men. I fucking love it. And, folks, I am very, very proud to announce the comeback of somebody that has been out of the podcast podcast game for the last six months, but used to be everywhere with me. I am very, very proud to announce the return of my favorite OnlyFans girl and the nerd who holds my heart, Miss Vanessa Fucking brain. <laughs> Yay. <laughs> I'm back. What up, G? Yes, yes, you are back, and I am glad that ever that you decided to make your grand debut back on my fucking show. <laughs> well, I had to. You know I had to. I love you. <laughs> Hard not to. It really is. Oh, that list is getting longer and longer every day. Man, come on now. I'm just a lovable motherfucker. What can I say? <laughs> and and yes, oh, there it is. Freddie gave the oh my god. I was waiting for that. I was waiting for that. <laughs> Sorry, Freddie. Eh, he understands, I'm sure. But <laughs> And let me get this up, because I like to do this for movie brackets, just for reasons. But it doesn't want to. All right, there we go. Cool, cool, cool. Too, too many, too many fucking screens. Jesus Christ! I'm trying to control these. All right, for now, I'm removing it. But she, Frey said he says he's working, but we're gonna talk later. I'm looking forward to that. But all right, folks, and the order you see them on screen is the order we're gonna be going with this. There are 38 alien movies from the 80s in this, and I have seen every single fucking one. I am proud to announce that. It's one of the few brackets I've ever been able to say that on. Proud to say that. Something I didn't want to see, apparently. But, but let's have some fun with it. Let's have some, let's have some fun with this. And for those who don't know, 
brackets are simple matchups where you pick the better movie for whatever reason you may like. Please feel free to tell us those reasons. Please feel free to go on rants if you don't like a certain movie at all and you want to hate on it. This is the place to hate on it. Same as if you love a movie and you want to and you want to rant about how much you love it. This is the place. And if you haven't seen the movies, we can give brief. I could try to give brief descriptions. I could try. No guarantees. <laughs> that the brief on the brief part, description part always can happen. But the first matchup we are going to have is going to get started off by Chad. And it is going to be... What was that? All right, I keep hearing something. I don't know what it is. But it's from 1984. The brother from another planet. For, ranked at number 38. The lowest ranked movie in this whole bracket. Versus number 20 from 1988. Killer Clowns from Outer Space. So, a movie that basically no one's ever heard of versus a classic. But, uh, Chad, which way are you going to go? Well, you're definitely right. I've never heard of The Brother from Another Planet. But even though I do like uh, some Miles Bennett Dyson from Terminator 2, I've got to go with <laughs> Killer Clowns from Outer Space. Yeah, yeah right, all right. And... Harley's oh, agree, agrees. Har, Harley agrees with you. And, all right, is that my echo? What the hell. Harley agrees with you and goes killer clowns as well, but she's not on this, so we, we'll use her vote if we have to. I don't think we're gonna have to in this one. Felix, which way would you like to go? I don't know, man. I, I love the title and the uh, the the actor that plays, like he said, Miles from uh, Terminator. But come on, this was a classic. We all. Grew up watching this from back in the days. Got to go with Killer Clowns, man. And speaking of midnight movies, there are actually do have a midnight movies bracket. We'll be doing eventually too. So, which of course, which of course, Killer Clowns from Outer Space is involved in. So, a lot of these repeats in my bracket. A lot of these movies repeat my brackets over and over again, different points. But, and personally, I think I'm gonna be the only person to give it a vote. So, I will go. I will throw a pity vote to Brother from Another Planet. I only watched it for a podcast, not this one, for another one, and it was actually a pretty good movie, uh, very messages towards race about on it, that should be a, should have been addressed in the 80s more, but I, I do love Killer Clowns, don't get me freaking wrong, a Juggalo cannot, cannot like Killer Clowns, so I, I love Killer Clowns from Outer Space, but Brother from Another Planet, I'll throw a vote to it, but I'll think anybody else is going to fucking do it, but Kevin, which way you want to go? Um, you just gotta go killer clowns from outer space, man. Cotton candy cocoons, man. Cotton candy cocoons. That's all I gotta say. Ah, uh, but you can eat their, you can eat your way out of them. So how is that a good cocoon? I don't fucking get it. But I mean, who doesn't like eating cotton candy? Come on. But that's true. As a as I gotta, a I gotta go killer clowns. Killer you clowns. Inside that cocoon, they're sucking your blood out at the same time. So I mean, you gotta. Well, yeah, but <laughs> Leo. Which which way you want to go? Uh, point out something Chad said about uh, uh, Joe Morton being a brother from another planet. This movie came out the same year as the original Terminator. Uh, yes, it did. Uh, and you know, seven years later, Joe Morton upgraded by being in Terminator Two. So, despite that, <laughs> I am also going with Killer Clowns from Outer Space. Uh, I remember seeing this movie as a kid and. Uh, it was probably the first time I saw a movie and thought to myself, wow, they can make shit like this. <laughs> it is that crazy. I will say the thing about Killer Clowns from Outer Space I love the most is that they use a sample of the cop talking on the phone in one of ICP one songs. Of songs. <laughs> Killer Clowns, you say? Weird. <laughs> but... I also uh, enjoy the scene where his like shadow eats someone. Yeah, yeah, it's a classic. It really is. But and that's gonna bring it down to Mike. Is Killer Clowns obviously moving on? Oh, it's definitely moving on. It's a <laughs> classic. I can't even. I can't even think about the other movie. <laughs> and I can tell you right now, I'm pretty sure it's gonna be moving on to the to the at least the quarterfinals, if not semifinals. But we'll see. We'll see. But uh, last but not. Actually, not even last. Uh, Tyler, which way would you have gone? 
as much as I want to give it to the brother from outer space, I got to give it to the killer clowns from outer space. Um, more recognizability, definitely kind of trippy, but like in the good eighties way. Uh, if that makes sense. It, it's oh, it's so it's like definitely a cult classic. So we, we just got to give it to the clowns. I have been for twenty years, but uh, <laughs> Vanessa. Finish us off, Derry. Which way would you have gone? Fuck the clown because I don't like him. He's scary as shit, <laughs> and I'm having a hard time looking at the screen. <laughs> there, so look, you can look at the brother. You can go with the brother. Go, <laughs> with the the brother. brother. <laughs> yeah, we're going with him. <laughs> he looks nice. <laughs> uh, well, he is actually a very skilled extraterrestrial. That when he has a leg. When he when he gets in a when he crashes a spaceship into Earth and he loses a leg, he replaces it with a broom handle. That's not where I thought you were going with that. <laughs> and Facebook user says, "Let it be known the head ba- the head bastard took a late supper just to see Vanessa." <laughs> yes. <laughs> you know what I'm, I'm just realizing? Stu- What's that? What? There are a lot of aliens out there that look exactly like people. Kryptonians, Saiyans, Viltrumites, <laughs> the brother from another planet. Are the creators just lazy in their design? Or are they just trying to say, oh, how can we have aliens fit in with humans without using some sort of technology? Well, the reptilians have been disguised themselves as humans for a good couple thousand years at least. I mean, Hillary Clinton, but um, moving on. Yeah. Fair enough. <laughs> I'm going to go out on a limb and say brother from another planet it was just a budget. It it was a it was a decent movie. I'm not going to lie. It was a it was a decent movie. It's, it was definitely low budget, but it was a decent movie and it was fun to watch. Cuz I mean, people pe- 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 people on Earth already hate him cuz the color of his skin. They didn't have to even know he was extraterrestrial. That was the that was the, that's the sad part. But and that means that Felix gets to start off the next matchup to see who the clowns are going to face in round two. And this matchup, starting with number 37 from 1980, is Alien Terror, also called Alien 2 on Earth. Dun, dun, dun. And it's going against number 19 from 1988. My stepmother is an alien. Just because it's the only one I've seen out of the two, I'd have to go with my stepmother's an alien. Uh, oh, yeah. From well, what I remember, I remember semi liking this. I only seen it a couple times back in the day, but I mean, you can't go wrong with Kim Basinger. That's Kim Basinger, right? I believe. Come on. Yes. Yeah, 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 definitely. Yeah. Yep, and. Yes. Allison Hannigan playing Dan Aykroyd's daughter. Yes, it is. It is. It is. It's Allison Hannigan's first role, if I'm not mistaken. But before band camp ever happened. But <laughs> are you sure about that? Uh, I, I, I would hope so. Well, for the FC, for for the FCC watching this show, I'm gonna say yes. But uh, for I get to vote next, and be happy you only saw the my stepmother's an alien because. Alien 2 on Earth is literally supposed to be a non-sanctioned sequel to Alien. And it is hot, hot, hot garbage that should have been thrown out before it ever got shown in a movie theater. So, I will gladly be giving it to my stepmother's an Alien because Dan Aykroyd is incredible in it. So is Kim Basinger. So is Allison Hannigan. Like, it's just amazing. And John Lovitz is in it, too. A very young John Lovitz. So, it's a, it's a funny movie. It's a very funny movie. But... Kevin, which way you want to go? Um, just for the cast alone, I'm going to go with my stepmother as an alien. And I mean, Dan Aykroyd gets to do what all men want to do. He gets to sleep with an alien. So, <laughs> <laughs> at least the alien looks like Tim Basinger. And Facebook user says, just like the ball Chinian from Men in Black too. <laughs> Oh, I forgot about that. Classic. Leo, which way do you want to go? So I like what you said about the uh, the Alien 2 film being an unsanctioned sequel to 
the original alien. I think it's like kind of ingenious to put that two on the end there because a you know a less informed person would think that they're tuning into the sequel to a a, a classic film. Uh, this film, Alien Two, was made in Italy, and that was very common for like these Italian studios at the time to rip off hit American films. Uh, that being said, again, <laughs> I'm going the other direction. My stepmother's an alien. Uh, the campy film, but uh, I would, I would, if I had my choice, I'd much rather watch this over Alien Two. I'm pretty sure most of the majority of humans would, but. <laughs> <laughs> Mike, which way you want to go? Well, there's not many movies with Dan Aykroyd you vote against, and this is not one of them. So I'm going with step. My stepmother's an alien. <laughs> I agree. And Tyler, stepmother's an alien. Not even close. <laughs> it's not. <laughs> and I did not make these rankings, by the way, uh, audience. This these rankings were made by Ranker, so. I wouldn't even play Alien 2 on this fucking list. They could have just stayed off the list. I would have been happy. But it, my stepmother is an alien. Will face killer clowns in the next round. But Vanessa, which way do you want to go? Stepmother. Interesting. Yeah. Only fans content right there. Just saying. But <laughs> yes. <laughs> and, I'd be game. And, oh my! But uh. <laughs> Chad, finish us out here. Which way would you have gone? Is it going to be the first sweep of the night? Yeah, it'll be a sweep for sure. I didn't see Alien 2, but I did watch the trailer. and It looked super cheap, uh, but gory. But yeah, my stepmother's an alien for sure. It did have a good gore content, I will say that. But uh, it's, I didn't expect gore in Alien movies, so I really wasn't looking for it, <laughs> to, to say the least. But that the number one seed in this is the gore king for this bracket. So we'll get there though. And that means that I get to start the next matchup. And actually shit, I want I kinda wanna go my review of this one just while I'm doing this. Because I don't I don't like five of these movies were exactly the same, basically. So trying to tell them apart is a whole thing. No oh, good it's still up. Oh yeah, there it is. And the next matchup starred by me is going to be number 36 from 1981, Galaxy of Terror. And <laughs> it's going it's going against number 18 from 1985, Explorers, with River Phoenix and Ethan Hawke. And while I will say... Explorers, I don't think I was that big of I was I wasn't that big a fan of Explorers, so I had to watch it for another podcast before this and I it was a cute movie. The aliens in it were funny towards the end, but you don't see them till the end of the movie. And but Galaxy of Terror is another aliens ripoff and it is literally unwatchable. Literally unfucking watchable. I I got through it. I don't know how, but I got through it. And I'm pretty sure, yeah, there honestly is not one person. The only person in the cast that's worth mentioning is Sid Haig and Robert Englund. Robert Engl Engl Englund. Why can't I say his fucking name tonight? Fucking Freddy Krueger. Freddy Krueger. And, and, and <laughs> the legendary. I'm point out Aaron Moran, <laughs> Joni, and Happy Days. Uh, that shit. I knew I, I, knew I recognized her. I couldn't fucking picture it, though. But, and I mean, Sid Haig is legendary. I had to mention him. The rest of the case, buddy. <laughs> and Freddie, if we recast some of these on Bastards, I'll be very happy with that. Just saying. But, uh, and yeah, so I'm giving it to Explorers because it was a more entertaining movie by far. The cast in Galaxy of Terror, being a lot of young people that become famous later on, is the only saving grace. I'm pretty sure this, yeah, 1981, it was before Nightmare on Elm Street, so by two years. So. Robert England wasn't famous yet. But uh Kevin, which way do you want to go? Galaxy of Terror or Explorers? Well, considering I don't remember either one of these freaking movies, um, I'm gonna go with um was it Galaxy of Terror just because of the artwork on the uh poster. I really like the artwork, so I'm gonna go with that one. All right. Why well, can't they I mean, look at that? Right That's way. pretty badass artwork. Come on. 
I mean, it's the artwork's more metal and more impressive than the whole fucking movie is. But <laughs> Leo, Leo, which way? That'd be pretty dope. I'd like make a artwork. dope comic. I like the artwork there too because it looks a lot like the um, Boris Vallejo drawings of like the early Dungeons and Dragons manuals and stuff. Yeah. Um, it is a, it, an interesting cast in this film. Like you said, Robert Englund said, hey, you also have Ray Walston who got his start in the 50s on My Favorite Martian. Um, that being said, <laughs> uh, now the Explorers, it's funny, you know, Mike, I saw smiling when you brought this movie up. We have a, a, recurring, a recurring segment we do on our show called Movies the Time Forgot. And the first time we ever did that segment, the Explorers was the movie I chose. Um, so it is one that like, I remember from when I was a kid and, and watching a lot as a kid. It's not a great movie, but only because of the uh, nostalgia value of it. Go with the Explorers. I mean, it, so, so going with going with Explorers, huh? And yeah, I, I will say the aliens when they are mimicking the at, on the ship when they're mimicking like the famous Earth musicians, it's pretty fucking hilarious. But Mike, which way you want to go? You know, I think he just told us. Yeah, pretty much. Um, though I do agree, the artwork is really cool for that uh, Galaxy of Terror. But now nah, I gotta go with the nostalgia of uh, Explorers. And Tyler, which way do you want to go? The concept of Galaxy of Terror was good, but ultimately, I think I'm going to have to go with Explorers. Yeah, I'm, I'm telling you, the, the first the first half of this bracket is going to be a lot of these types of votes, I'm telling you, but the second half is a lot more challenging, and then the second rounds will be a whole other game, but Vanessa, how about you there? Yeah, I'm going with Explorers as well. Which, uh, just so you know, Vanessa, that actually w Explorers was Casey Box's pick for Yeah, Hus Cinema of 1985. So that's the reason I had to watch. That's the reason I had to watch it. But <laughs> that makes sense. Which actually, my pick for the 1986 one coming up is in this later on. But Chad, back up to you. Which way do, what, do you want to go? You know, when I was a kid, I was pretty excited for the Explorers, and then I was very disappointed. So I'm not a fan of the Explorers at all. That being said, for Galaxy of Terror, I didn't see it, but my podcast partner uh, gave it half a star, and his letterbox review was, what the fuck is this? So I guess I'm going to go with the Explorers. <laughs> uh, basically, I've, I'm, and if you're on Letterbox, uh audience, uh, feel free to follow me at Paramovie God. All the brackets I, I have made up are actually on there as a list, so... I have spent a lot of time in my job when I'm on the phone when I'm on the phone typing on letterbox too. So and Felix, finish us out here. Which way do you want to go? Just because again, it's one of the only ones I saw. Um, I have to go with the explorers. I remember kind of liking it as a kid. But See, again, the artwork on this guy, like Kevin said, it's awesome, but never seen it. Don't know if it's good. So I have to go with explorers. It's it a real dragon layer, dragon layers uh, feel to it. It's it be it might be worth one watch just for the cast, honestly. But it, I mean, it's uh, it's like watching a hor it's like watching a horrible slasher movie that Bruce Campbell happens to be in in a small role. You, you watch it and see Bruce Campbell, but and Kevin, you actually get to start this one out to see who Explorer is going to face around in round two. And it's going to be number 35. Oh, speaking of actors, <laughs> from 1985, 1983. Not that one. It's The Creature Wasn't Nice, also also called Naked Space, versus number 17 from 1984, Repo Man. Oh, man. These are both... Um... Yeah, okay, we'll go naked space. <laughs> <laughs> I, I don't I really have nothing nice to say about either one of these naked movies. Space for the naked gun, Leslie knew. Yeah. I mean, it's it's basically this whole vote is basically going the fact that it's Leslie Nielsen versus uh Emilio Estevez. That's but, exactly what it is, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but uh Leo, which way do you want to go? Uh so 
Mike and I last night when we got your invite, we were trying to guess like what movies were going to be on this list. And I have to tell you, I've seen a lot of really bad movies. There were a lot of movies on this list I'd never heard of. And the creature wasn't like. <laughs> <laughs> and like just like you said, based on the fact that Leslie Nielsen's in it, I might have to give it a try. But I'm gonna have to go with Repo Man because of the two, it's the only one I've seen. I will say just because look, just because Leslie Nielsen's in it does not make it a good movie. Just just gonna put that out there. Right. I, I, I <laughs> if you actually look at my letterbox review of that movie, I actually said even Leslie Nielsen couldn't save this movie. But <laughs> but uh. Mike, which way you want to go? Uh, I'm going to go with the only one I've seen, which is Repo Man. And Tyler. I also think Repo Man has a better concept than the uh, counterpart film. Yeah, I mean, Naked Space is basically just an alien ripoff. It's supposed to be funny because it's Leslie Nielsen, but... Just because it's supposed to be doesn't mean it is. I think and, too, uh, Airplane came out in 1980, and this came out in 81, so they're probably trying to cash in on this. 83, but yeah. Yeah. Uh, Vanessa, which way do you want to go? This is actually, this one actually still has some life on both sides. Um, so simply just for the name, Naked Space, because I like Naked Spaces, so <laughs> just for that. <laughs> <laughs> Preach, my darling. Preach. Oh, and <laughs> all we need is got... oh, we're gonna... I'm telling you, by the by the end of this one, all we're gonna need is a big white couch. But Chad, which way you want to go? I'm not a fan of Repo Man at all. Uh, <laughs> so I'm gonna go He's with naked, naked space. Too. Yeah, I'm all about it. <laughs> naked space. Let's do it. And Felix, it's all tied up at the moment. Which way are you gonna go? Emilio, gotta go with uh, Repo Man. Love Emilio uh, as there isn't anything, except for this which, one. But I gotta go with this one out of the two. <laughs> which means, right now, coming down to me, Repo Man's at four to three, and I can either force a tiebreaker, but I'm not gonna do that because Repo Man was the way fucking better movie by far, and it was actually watchable. And, and actually, actually had a decent storyline because it was about it was about humans on Earth having to deal with alien shit, which I I like those storylines better than the wannabe alien movies. And there's a lot of those in the '80s. I found out so Repo Man will move on and will face Explorers in the next round. So next matchup though is going to get started off by Leo and. It's number, number 34, 34 from 1980, without warning. And it's going against, ironic, funny enough, number 16 from 1986, Transformers the movie. <laughs> so two things here. The without warning is another one I haven't really heard of, but I'm re as after reading the description and 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 seeing who's in it, I'm like it, it's like Predator before Predator, basically, because an alien hunting people in in a, in a jungle somewhere. Uh, it's it's actually in the suburbs, but yeah, yeah, but you know, you know, you know what I mean. It's an alien hunting people. It's Jack Talent and Martin Landau, who are legendary actors. But uh, you know, Transformers was a formative cartoon when I was growing up. Uh, it was one of the first DVDs I ever bought. Was the Transformers the movie DVD? Don't and lie, I own a copy like I do. Own the copy, yeah. And and one of the chapters in the DVD says the swear word uh, <laughs> because it's the scene where they use the word shit in the movie. Yep. Yeah. Uh, the movie well, is technically two swear words two depending swear words. on where you're from. <laughs> and uh, it's an obvious. A cash grab film because they're basically introducing the new line of toys in it, but still, it's Transformers the movie for me. <laughs> and <laughs> Mike, which way you want to go? 
Hey, I like I own this movie still. I I love the soundtrack. I'm going Transformers the movie. <laughs> Uh, my own, my only, my only qualm with this whole thing with is that the, the other animated movie that's in this bracket is on the other side, but so they they wouldn't face each other unless it was going to the finals because that would be a funny fucking matchup. But <laughs> uh, Tyler, Transformers or Without Warning? Transformers, not even close. Easily um, phenomenal casting, Leonard Nimoy. Uh, Orson Welles, Scatman Carruthers, Frank Welker, uh, Peter Cullen. These both uh, the score and the soundtrack are phenomenal. And yeah, it was a cash grab to introduce new toys, or rather, we should say characters. <laughs> but it was also uh, one of the few 80s movies to have two swear words shit, as mentioned, and slag, which technically is a European swear word, which is a <laughs> means slut. Oh, like my uh, favorite person's name on this show, but yeah. <laughs> Pretty much, yeah. Not to mention, man, this had one of the most devastating death scenes in a movie. Oh. When you're I, 10 years I, I, <laughs> yeah, there were a I, lot I, of them, so you got to be a little more specific. Optimus Prime, come on. There yeah, I, I knew what he meant. I knew what he fucking meant. Yeah. <laughs> Optimus fucking Prime dying. I mean, yeah, but you I heard the about it. Scene with the uh, what you call it, the Decepticons invading the Autobot ship. The way yeah, they, I... yeah, a lot of their deaths weren't exactly PG. It, it's no, not like no. freaking Bambi's mom dying off screen or something. Even even at ten years old, I was like, man, it's fucking cool. <laughs> so. But yeah, anyway, giving it to Transformers. Ghost Transformers, all right. And uh, I know which way this is going already. I don't like it. But uh, Vanessa, which way you want to go? Oh, I'm sorry, let me know. Yeah, Vanessa, which way you want to go? Transformers. Which means Transformers does move into the next round to face where it wins the next matchup. And... Back up to you, Chad. Which way you want to go? Yeah, I'm definitely going Transformers. I love this movie. Uh, without warning, the earlier point is kind of like Predator before Predator, but instead of Arnold, we got Jack Palance, so I'd rather have Arnold. So let's go with Transformers. And Felix, which way would you have gone? Got to go with Transformers, man. All right. Well, I am not letting this be a sweep. Because I I I wasn't I wasn't born until fucking eighty eight, so Transformers to me is not a thing I really got into until the movies came out in the two thousands, and watching the freaking cartoon movie at thirty five years old on a Saturday morning, I the only thing I liked about it was the soundtrack. So the storyline was confusing as fuck. So and, and when the di when the when the Dino Transformers got dropped, that was pretty cool. But besides that, and the Death of Optimus Prime was. Underplayed completely. So, yeah. It's giant uh, it's robots really... taking care of a, what's called, beating a uh, galactic sized transforming planet. You're caught up. Yep. Uh, I would, I would, uh, I, yeah, I don't know. It's just, it's before my time. <laughs> Give me an X Men 97 movie and I'll be happy. But, wait, so is the other my... one. All these are before your time. <laughs> well, te technically, most of them are, yes, but yeah, but hey, I I did not pick this winner. Somebody else did, and if he decides to show his face tonight, you can blame him. But he'll be on he'll be on the other one Sunday. He'll be on the other one Sunday night, so right. he'll have his chance. He'll have his chance, and you're all free. To, you all feel, feel free to watch that if you like. But that means, wait a minute. Ke I don't get Kevin, it. Kevin, you started. <laughs> I'll just say, Ke I'll just say, Kevin didn't go. Yeah, duh. Sorry, man. <laughs> it's it's going to be Transformers, though. I'm not I'm not ashamed to admit I shed a tear when Optimus Prime died uh, as a kid. So yeah, it's got to be Transformers. All right. Well, and see, I think that's why I, I didn't realize you didn't get the ghost because I think I, I put you down with Transformers before I even freaking thought about it. But you knew it was you knew what it was going to be. <laughs> I, I'm pretty sure I knew. I, I'm pretty sure I knew. I'm the only one who. We're going to vote for without warning on that. And then 
It was a really good Alien Invasion movie. I won't say that. It's creepy as shit. The Alien in that movie is creepy as shit. But yeah, it's a good movie. It looked awesome, I actually enjoyed man. it. I actually enjoyed it. For, for 1980, it's a really good movie. But the next matchup is going to get started off by M Mike. And it is going to be from 1983, number, ranked number 33, Deadly Spawn. And it is going against number 15 from 1988, Alien Nation. Oh, that was a good one. Oh, I love alienation, so it's gonna be definitely alienation. <laughs> and uh, Tyler, how about you? I'm going with the alienation. James Khan can do no wrong. <laughs> well, I mean, I know uh he really can't. James Khan is Pretty much perfection, everything he's well, in. But he couldn't anyway. And Vanessa, which way do you want to go? I am going to go with Alien Nation because the other ones look like scary, angry penises. <laughs> <laughs> like go back to that. It looks no, like a scary, like ah. Okay, three of them. Yes. <laughs> the penis who hasn't gotten some in a bit. That's what it looks like. Uh, oh, okay. Oh, okay. I just remember, I just remember what Deadly Spawn is. Oh, fuck. I hate this matchup now. <laughs> but, um... <laughs> and that's what brings us back up to the top. Chad, which way you want to go? I feel like I'm going to be in the minority with this one. I'm going to go with uh, the Deadly Spawn because the aliens look like scary, angry penises. <laughs> and, uh, <laughs> and alienation... You know, I saw this when I was a kid. I remember thinking, like, these aliens aren't cool. Like, what, they drink milk or they can't drink milk? I can't even remember. So, no <laughs> thanks, Alien milk Nation. Milk. <laughs> and that's going to bring it down to Felix. Which way are you going to go? I've got to go with the Alien Nation, man. Um, love this movie and the TV show that it spawned. Uh, but he's right. They reminded me of the gra Graboids from, um, oh, I'm sorry, the other movie, from Tremors. That's what I was thinking. And then I, I thought Penis is second, but yeah, that's what I was thinking about. Them. But I have to go with Alienation. And speaking of penises, weren't there penises like on the, under their arm or something in this movie? I... If anyone remembers. I don't know. Uh, I, th I think they're war. I think you're actually right. <laughs> but I uh, this that's one of the later movies I watched too. I'm trying to think of it. I can't fucking think of it. But I... See, as for me on this one, it's a tough one because Alien Nation is a really good buddy cop movie. And, it, I mean, it kind of spawned the movie that they did a couple years ago with Will Smith in New York. Yeah. But Deadly Spawn, I thought it was – when, when I saw the picture again, I thought it was like one of those crappy ones. But I remember this one now. Uh, an asteroid lands in New Jersey, and these creatures basically get off of it and start spawning and they attack a they attack a house, and the only person that saves the only person the only person that could save the house is the kid the little kid who watches horror movies, so he knows how to face them. So I gotta give it to Deadly Spawn just for the storyline. It was a really original original storyline, and the gore in it was pretty freaking good. And it was almost like a home invasion film in a way. So I like Deadly Spawn. I'm gonna Deadly Spawn. But, Kevin, which way you want to go? Yeah, I don't really have a horse in this race. But, you know, the chat says Deadly Spawn, so I'll go de with Deadly Spawn. <sighs> Alienation, dude. <laughs> yep. Harley did say Deadly Spawn, so. Yep. Get out of here. Which means it's all tied up at the moment, but. <laughs> which way do you want to go, Leo? Alienation. <laughs> <laughs> I don't have an argument for this one. I'm just I like alienation. It's a movie I remember <laughs> playing as a kid. So and Mike, did you start that out? If I'm not mistaken. I, I started it, yes. Okay, I must not put down I must not put down vote for alienation then because alienation yeah. does move on. Alienation does move on to face Transformers in the next round. 
But that means we have to go to our first play-in match of the night to see what's going into round one. And do not give me shit, but some of the lower ranked, some of the highest ranked movies are in play in matchups. It's just the way the bracket fell. I did not do it on purpose. But this one is going to get started off by Tyler. And I hate this matchup. And it's number four, number four, number 14, Critters from 1986 versus number two from 1987. Predator. Oh, you can these like different, man. Damn. I'm happy to see that everybody else had the same reaction I just had in my head. <laughs> okay, firstly, I just want to say when you gave me this list, I'm kind of surprised Superman wasn't on there. One of the most well-known aliens in existence. I agree. <laughs> and, and he wasn't on there. Just I'm just putting that out there. Blame Ranker. I may. Well, I mean, said, it would be Superman 2 because the original Superman came out in the 70s. Fair. That said, mm -hmm. I'm going with Predator. Another wonderful uh, Peter Cullen voice role. Schwarzenegger did really phenomenal in that. Critters was just like fucking you. crazy as fucking fuck. I mean, <laughs> I'll swear on this. Hey, you know what? Ship sailed. <laughs> So, which way did you want to go? Predator. And Vanessa, Predator or Critters? Predator. And back on top, Chad, which way do you want to go? Yeah, I'm going with Predator. Going with Predator. Uh, I love this movie, but with if we're talking Critters 2, maybe we could... Uh, being a little conversation a little bit. I like Critters 2 a lot better than Critters 1, but I'm going with Predator. And which way do you want to go, Felix? Get to the chopper. Got to go with Predator, man. Even though as a kid, I think I would have went Critters more, but I, as an adult, got to go with Predator. Uh, I will... All right, I, I can't even. I got throw. I got throw it to. Actually, you know what? I can't throw one to critter. I can't throw one to critters. I can because predator to me isn't good until it's just Arnold and the predator. Everything up to that is just foreplay. Like that's On the dark, you're going to give a lot of movies pity votes, right? Uh I no, 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 not the other movies. Just pure trash. I'm not going to give it a pity vote, but. Critters was actually a decent movie, and I look forward to watching the sequels and some other brackets in the future. So, it's, okay. trust me, it's Critters. It's not Feeders. If it was Feeders, this would be a different story completely. Thank God Feeders wasn't until the 90s. But, which way do you want to go, Kevin? Man, I, do, I really do love both of these movies, but Predator spawned a lot more uh, movies with it so i gotta go with predator plus i mean i i don't have time to bleed so <laughs> and leo which way you want to go if critters is up against some of these other movies we already talked about in in, in this in this bracket i go critters but oh fuck i can't in good conscience vote against predator well clearly it wasn't gonna be broken so and which way do you want to go, Mike, even though Predator is clearly moving into the first round? I would love to vote for Critters, but I got to go with Predator on this one. Which means I'm the only person who, I'm the only person who gives Critters a vote, as I damn well expect it to be. <laughs> but, and I just go, okay. not, not uh, Critters. I think it was a bad, it was a bad place before them. <laughs> so... Uh yeah, well, that's just the way these things fall. Yeah. And some of the and some of the other brackets I've been making lately by year, I for horror movies, I've been putting the lower ranked ones in the play and matchups just for shits and giggles to see how it changes things. But we'll see in the future. And that means that Predator is gonna move on to the first round. And this matchup is gonna start off by Vanessa. It's gonna be Predator versus Inseminoid. 
which <laughs> that's an actual movie. What the hell? <laughs> in, in, in Seminoid, ranked number thirty-two from nineteen eighty-one. Some poor bastard had to animate that. Oh. <laughs> I'd probably vote for that just for the poster. Oh. Honestly, that's where my head is going right now. I wasn't expecting this. It kind of reminds me of that X Men comic with the whole brood. Yep. <laughs> that's that's what it reminds me of. I agree. I like oh the tag underneath the title A Far From Human Birth. <laughs> oh, really? <laughs> God damn. You really thinking about this one? No, I I thought I, no, like yeah, going with this in seminoid oh. just I'm 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 so terrified by the poster. I can't stop staring just at still it. Watching. I, I'm <laughs> analyzing every bit of um, what is what's happening. So I'm going You're to not the only one. So fascinating by this. One, that's true. <laughs> so many questions. Well, and that means it goes back up to Chad. Is it in Seminoid or Predator? Well, you know, if I didn't vote for Critters over Predator, I'm damn sure not going to vote for in Seminoid <laughs> over Predator. It's Predator. Well, and Felix? I'm still at the chopper, man. It's got to be Predator. And I 100% agree with you on that because Inseminoid is basically just another horrible alien ripoff, but they give birth to the freaking thing instead of it bursting out of the stomach. That's the only difference. So, I mean, were there any actually, was there any good, was there any good actors in this? Does it matter? <laughs> no, no. <laughs> uh, yeah, Robin Clark was the starring actor in it, so... And Victor Victoria Tennant, which I don't know why that name sounds familiar. I think she was in a lot of 80s horror movies. But other than that, there's nobody else I really recognize. So, yeah, Predators, Predator 100% gets my vote in this one. Because the Seven was just pure trash. But, um, Kevin, which way do you want to go? I'm telling you, this should be a bracket in itself. 80s movie posters, that should just be a bracket in itself. Um, but it's got to be Predator. Coming soon to the Asylum, maybe. <laughs> it's on the range for this show, but we do brackets on asylum now once a month, so and Leo, which way you want to go? I'd like to put this poster uh, up against the poster for Galaxy of Terror. <laughs> <laughs> um as fucked up as this looks, I have to go with Predator I'm sorry. <laughs> All right. Yeah, and, 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 uh, as I assume, Predator is moving on, of course. But which way would you have gone there? Mike? Predator, definitely, definitely Predator. And Tyler, finish this off. Which way would you have gone? First off, the fuck. Second, Predator. <laughs> uh, if you want to say the fuck now, watch watch the damn movie. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm good. But but uh, the next matchup is a play-in. We actually have two play-ins in a row to finish off to make the final matchup in this half around one. And Chad gets to start this one off back on top. And it's number thirty-one from nineteen eighty-two, Extra versus number thirteen from nineteen eighty-four. Starman. Huh. How did the dogs from Ghostbusters make it onto a poster? <laughs> I am zoo. No, those are not those are not dogs. Those are very creepy aliens that can bend in unnatural human ways. So you know with extra uh it might be a five star movie. And it might be a one-star movie. I, I cannot tell. It is so batshit crazy. It doesn't make any sense. And Starman is fine. So I'm going to go with the Bonkers Extra on this one. So so you want to go? Which way do you want to go? Extra. Extra, all right. And... and 
Felix? Starman. Easy. Starman? Yep. See, Extro was a good movie to me. I liked it. I enjoyed it. The storyline's kind of cool. The alien design's freaking incredible. But Star Starman was a really great movie as well. Five out of five acting, I gave it. Four out of five for storyline special effects, but it's basically just a Guardians of the Galaxy Volume Two prequel. Because it literally, it, it, yeah. it literally, it literally is Jeff fucking Bridges doing what he did in Guardians of the Galaxy Two. So <laughs> it's really what it is. It's basically like someone looked in the future and said, "We gotta make the prequel of this movie about thirty years before it comes out, or forty even." Jesus, but. I gotta give it to Extra, though, because it was a more entertaining movie to me. Starman, I felt like I knew the movie already because of Fortune Guardians, but which way do you want to go, Kevin? Well, since you said Starman is a prequel to um, Guardians of the Galaxy, because I was on the fence on which way I was going to go, I'm going to go to Extra. Because it basically is what it is. Jeff Daniels comes to Earth and impregnate, impregnates a human a human yeah. female. I'm not a Marvel and... fan, so I got to go extra. <laughs> oh yeah, I forgot you're not a Marvel fan. But which way do you want to go, Leo? Uh, first off, it's Jeff Bridges who is in Starman, not Jeff Daniels. Oh, I, 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 yeah, I meant Bridges. Fuck, and I do that all the time. And it was Kurt Russell who was in Guardians of the Galaxy Volume That's Two. That's what I was thinking too. <laughs> Like, was it oh, was, was. Like, yeah. Uh, wasn't Jeff Bridges in one of those movies? Iron Man. He's the he bad guy. Iron, Iron Man one. Iron Man. Oh. Um, and Michael, tell you, John Carpenter is one of my Mount Rushmore of directors. I love John Carpenter, so I'm not going to vote against him. Starman. You also love. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I also love Karen Allen. Yeah. <laughs> <clears throat> and uh my, Mike, which way you want to go? Well, uh, see, I grew up watching Starman, so you know, I didn't see it as a, a Guardians of the Galaxy prequel, so I'm going Starman. Which means it's all tied up coming down to Tyler. I think I'm gonna have to go with the first one. Extra? Extra, yeah. And Vanessa, which way are you gonna go? Uh, I think I'm also going to go with the first one, Extra. What? Oh, and Starman gets taken wow. out barely <laughs> with a 5-3 to three vote to go into round one. Wow. But is, it, is that the first it, upset it, of the night? Uh, so far, yes. But, well, yeah, it depends what you call an upset. But <laughs> <laughs> the, the, the next matchup is going to get started by Felix. And it's to see what's going to face Extra in round one. And I don't think, I don't, trust me, I don't think Extra is going to make it out of round one. But it's number 30 from 1985, Creature. And it's going against, it's going against number 12 from 1987, Batteries Not Included. It's another easy one. Batteries Not Included, man. Which, yeah, I... I actually, what the hell was what the hell was creature? I'm trying to figure out what the hell creature was. Even I don't remember what the hell it was. I kind of don't remember it either. Yeah. Oh wait, there it is. I know I watched it. Okay, yeah, I called. I literally called creature a Dollar General remake of Alien. So, <laughs> I, I am gonna go with Barry's not included because that movie, that movie makes me actually tear up. Towards, 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 when when the house goes on fire at the end, it makes me tear up completely. So. But uh, Kevin, which way you want to go? Oh, Harley's going. Full... Harley said uh, batteries, of course. But yeah, I'm going full agreement with uh, Harley and you. Yeah, batteries not included for sure. And Leo, batteries not included. And Mike, batteries. I'm watching this become a sweep. But uh, Tyler, yeah, might as well become a sweep. So I'll just go with batteries. And Vanessa? <laughs> there are so many things I want to say to this. But yeah, it's batteries <laughs> not included. 
<laughs> you would. You would. Oh. It's disappointing. <laughs> okay. Yep. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and finish this out for us. Uh, what's it gonna What's it gonna be, Chad? <laughs> you know, as much as I like uh, Klaus Kinski, uh, I'm going to make it a clean sweep. Batteries not included. Which means battery is not included. We'll move into the first round and it's going to face extra. So it's number 31 extra versus number 12. Battery is not included. I get the start to start one out. And only because this is a alien movie bracket, I have to give it to extra because battery is not included. You don't even see what's inside the machines. They're just robots. I mean, I feel like robots are not aliens, technically. There has to be like little men in black aliens inside driving around. Cybertronians. Oh, sorry. I sneezed while I said the phrase Cybertronians. What, is that the actual name they gave them in the movie? No, that's the name they use for the Transformers. Transformers. Oh. <laughs> Well, I mean, that's the reason I didn't vote for Transformers either, because to me, it's not really an alien movie. It's just robots. Who happen to be aliens. <laughs> but see, D D Daleks have aliens inside them. Therefore, they're not just robots. They're aliens. That's the difference. Which, <coughs> <I'm pretty laughs> speaking, aren't we all aliens? Because everything is really in space. I mean, to another, on pretty, another planet, that's, we, pretty, deep. On, yeah, that's, that's pretty, pretty deep. deep. That, that's some that's some sociology shit right there. But well, folks, uh, learning corner is over. Um, which way you want to go, Kevin? Um, well, he said it was too deep, but battery's not included. See what I did there? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. That's where uh, the, movie that we, the movie that we went this whole bracket ends up being what's on the side of a dildo box. I swear to God, I will laugh my ass <laughs> off to the bank. But <sighs> Leo, batteries not included or extra? I'm so bitter that a John Carpenter film got knocked out by extra, so I'm going with batteries not included. <laughs> <laughs> Trust me, it's not the last John Carpenter film on this bracket. Oh, no, I, I, I but, see uh, another one that's one of my favorites. But uh, which way do you want to go, Mike? Uh, batteries. And Tyler? Didn't you get to me already? Oh, wait. Oh, that, no. Did I? Yeah, batteries. Oh, no, that, that, that was in the last matchup, man. <laughs> this is batteries versus extra. Yeah, I already said batteries. Yeah, but I think you said it against creature, not extra. But... Vanessa, which way do you want to go? Batteries. And Chad? You know, batteries not included. I always I used to get that as a as a kid. I used to get it confused with cocoon because it's like aliens and old people. Uh but <laughs> you know, I know the vote doesn't matter now, but I'm I'm going with extra. <laughs> well, I'm I'm glad I wasn't the only one. And Felix finished his vote out. Which way would you have gone? Batteries again. Which means batteries will face in the next round, Predator. <laughs> so that's, easy gonna be, win. <laughs> that's not going to be an easy one at all, I don't think, for a lot of people. But that means we get to go to the other side of round one now. And this one's going to get started off by Kevin. And it's number 29 from 1983, Strange Invaders. Oh, uh, actually, which is the last movie of this bracket I watched. And it's going against number 11 from 1984, The Last Starfighter. Oh, oh. This is yeah, easy. The Last Starfighter. Hands down. Yeah. I really like The Last Starfighter. Uh, I'll get to why I think. But um, which way do you want to go, Leo? I'm going last Starfighter as well. This is this is I fucking love this movie. Even even today, even as bad as the special effects are and as over the top some of the acting is in it. I love this movie. 
Well, it is the 80s, but... <laughs> it was fun. And Mike, which way you want to go? Yeah, I grew up with the last Starfighter, so I'm going that way. And how about you, Tyler? Last Starfighter. Good 80s cult film. And Vanessa? Yep. Last yep. Starfighter. And which means Starfighter moving on already, but which way would you have gone, Chad? I like you know, I like Nancy Allen in Strange Invaders, but the last Starfighter as a kid, I wanted that to happen to me. That's what I wanted to happen. So last yeah, Starfighter. <laughs> and Felix? Hands down, last Starfighter. And I see Strange Invaders was an interesting movie, a very alien invasion storyline. Like Aliens come to Earth 20-something years later. They need to go back to their home planet. And it turns out like a whole city is basically aliens. The The alien design could have been better. That was the only thing I really had to complain about in it. The storyline and the alien powers were pretty fucking cool. But Last Starfighter, I, I gotta give it to Sweep. Because it's... Last Starfighter I watched last year, I think, for the... Yeah, it was 1984 rotisserie cinema and it was freaking really good i never watched it to that point but it was a really good movie so and speaking of good movies the next matchup gets started off by leo by uh leo and it's a 1985 matchup two similar movies in a way it's number 28 life force versus number 10 Cocoon. <laughs> oh, man. Um So it's a Toby Ho it's a to it's a Toby Hooper versus I, Ron Howard matchup. Uh, yeah, two directors I like for two very different reasons. <laughs> uh like Toby Hooper directed some of my favorite horror films, Texas Chainsaw Massacre, Poltergeist. Uh but then you know, Ron Howard, but uh, Again, you were saying like alien. I don't really get to see the alien very much soon, like the very end. Um, so I think I'm I'm gonna go uh, against the grain here and go with life force. Well, I mean, you see the aliens like a quarter of the way into Cocoon when they show their form to the to Wolford Brimley. Yeah. But uh, which way do you want to go, Mike? I'm going to cocoon. Can't beat the goot. <laughs> <laughs> and Tyler, which way do you want to go? Cocoon. And Vanessa? I haven't seen either of these, but strictly because I like cocooning, I'm going to go with cocoon. <laughs> uh, uh, see my... That's See, my not dear. A sexual term. I just like blankets. <laughs> See, my dear, you would love you would love cocoon, because three old men get hard on for the first time in a long time and go give it to their wives for the first time in a long time because of their goop. <laughs> I almost like literally. <laughs> there literally is a scene with them walking down the road, like, oh my god, I got a hard on. It's it was, it was pretty 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 comical for a first time watching. I wasn't expecting nice. that from uh, the guy from the guy who comes on TV and says, "I have diabetes." <gasps> but wait, that was wait what? You yeah. just meant Wilford Brimley all for me. <laughs> Wilford, Wilford Brimley's in Cocoon. Yeah, yeah. Oh, it's now his, I'm going to watch this. Okay, it's his claim to it's, it's like his it's like his claim to fame. He was only 49 when he made that movie, too. And he, he looks like he's in his fucking 80s. It's, it's, it's insane. He's got a lot of road miles. I mean, he had to eat a lot of fucking cake to get that diabetes. But mm -hmm. <laughs> which, way, which way do you want to go, Chad? You know, I prefer the sexual tension in Life Force over the sexual <laughs> tension in Cocoon, so... <laughs> Life Force. Very good fucking point. Good fucking point. And Felix. 
Um, as a kid, I've always remembered this line from the movie. I'm in the mood for love simply because I have one. And it's because he had one. Um, I have to go with Cocoon, man. It did things to me as a kid. Maybe not good, but it did things to me as a kid. <laughs> Honey, why are you looking up seniors getting on on Google? <laughs> yeah. Don't check his browser history. Uh, I mentioned that Patrick Stewart was in Life Force. Is that anybody's vote? What? Was oh, oh, he I forgot about that. He was, yeah. And and Peter Firth, but for those who know who he is, actually. I do, but... Um, shit. Which means it's my vote, and god damn it. Alright, I gotta throw another one to Life Force because as a par as this is a paranormal show, if I don't give one to the idea that vampires came from outer space before they came to Earth, which makes sense in the paranormal world because the Highgate vampire in London is a thing along with a lot of other cases of vampirism. So, I gotta throw in a Life Force. And plus seeing that naked female vampire in her tomb was hot shit. So, Vanessa's like, God damn it, I gotta end another one on my list. But and which way do you want to go, Kevin? Um, since I have diabetes and I check it often, I'm going cocoon. Yeah, it was if you didn't go cocoon, it would have to go to the audience. I'm pretty sure Harley voted cocoon too, so it would have been cocoon regardless. But guess what? That means cocoon faces last starfighter in the next round. Ooh. Neat. <laughs> <laughs> and this next matchup, oh god, <laughs> it's gonna get started off by Mike, and it's number twenty-seven from nineteen eighty-four, the adventures of Buckaroo Bonsai across the eighth dimension. <laughs> no way, this and is a real movie. Ah, uh, yes, it is. It's based on the book. It's based off the Buckaroo Bonsai cart uh, TV series from the fifties, and. Yes, Christopher Lloyd is in it as well. So, and Jeff Goldblum, of course. So, huh. and John and John Lithgow. I mean, it's a lot of big names. John Barkin, and yes. <laughs> but the next, it's go, it's going against number nine, Flight of the Navigator Ooh. from nineteen eighty six. Oh, ouch! Oh, I told you this side's the harder side by far. Oh, shit. It, le it uh, leads to the right, right, Vanessa? <laughs> yes, but what the fuck is on his shoulder? A little alien. It's it looks like alien. a pug. Yeah. yeah. That's why I'm like, what the hell is that? It's almost pug like. Yep. Wow. It's it's a little cute, like mini dog. Yeah, that's kind of an oxymoronic <laughs> statement, right? <laughs> But, uh, Mike, it's your vote. Which way you want to go? Yeah, I, I'm going to go with my Nostalgia vote as a kid and go with Flight of the Navigator. That was a tough one. And, Tyler, which way you want to go? Uh, the Buckaroo... Uh, I'm getting all tongue-tied. Buckaroo Bonsai? Her. Yeah, Buckaroo Bonsai. Mainly because and it's fun to say because of the big names in it. I mean, Buckaroo Banzai is just a ripoff of uh, what the hell's the other '50s serial I'm thinking of with uh, Ming as the enemy? Uh, yeah, uh, Family Guy is well, a ripoff of The Simpsons. What's your work. point? Yeah. Oh, it was. I'm not. Saying, I'm, not I, I'm not disagreeing with that one damn bit. And I I thank Mac. I think Mac Roning every day, and I, th I thank Seth MacFarlane for stealing that idea. But I mean, as long as we're gonna go with that rabbit hole, Simpsons is just a ripoff of uh, Flintstones. Eh, that's more of a stretch, but is it though? Fat of yes, it... housewife. We got the little kid there. I don't know. I don't know. It's same dynamic. I, eh, kind of, I guess, similar, but not exactly a complete revolt. Family guy I could agree with, but and then American Dad and Cleveland Show and all the other ones have followed. But which well, way you want to go, Vanessa? Theater, though. Oh, I'm, oh, trust um, me, I am well aware. <laughs> there's just something about that little 
pug alien thing on his shoulder that I don't <laughs> like. So I'm going with Jeff Goldblum. Oh, he's he's got another he's got another movie in this coming down the line too, but just just one yeah just one I think but um I mean it's the 80s so Jeff Goldblum appears everywhere but which way do you want to go Chad? Flight of the Navigator yeah I, the nostalgia vote for me too on this one and Felix easy Flight of the Navigator man and. I thought I watched Buckaroo Banzai like a year ago for yeah uh, 1984 rotisserie, rotisserie cinema just because I was trying to find movies to nominate and I regretted watching it immediately because it was just pure hot garbage. <laughs> it really was. Even with the, even with a great cast, movies could still be garbage. Uh, Flight of the Navigator was kind of cool. Kid gets abducted by aliens and comes back like in what he thinks is like a day later, but it's really like eight eight years later and. I actually teared up when, like, he's like, he sees his mom and dad all old, and he's like, "What happened to you?" But so, I yeah, it was a cute movie. Even though we're doing a suck at Disney bracket on bastards this Sunday, I gotta go play the Navigator. Which for anybody who wants to watch, that'll be live on Sunday at three Eastern, two Central on YouTube on the Bracket Bastards channel, and it's all two. It's two weeks long, and it's animated movies that are not made by Disney. Hmm. But. Well, Disney's going to own everything way? now, so. They don't own South Park. They don't own South Park yet. <laughs> there's, they, they, they're, they're, the day they own South Park is the day Disney stops caring about their content. But Very true. Which the, they're getting close to that with letting Deadpool come on, but come on. Uh, but which Fuck way South do you want to go? Put a chicken in it. Make her gay and lame. <laughs> <laughs> which way do you want to go, Kevin? It's got to be Flight of the Navigator. You got Pee Wee Herman as the voice of the freaking ship. I mean, come on. Was he? Yeah. Was him. I, I did not pick up on that. Huh. Yeah, Paul Rubens. Oh, uh, yeah. I, 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 I don't. I try not to look at the names of actors unless I think I recognize them because then I, I like to be, I like to enjoy the movie without going off star power. But which way do you want to go, Leo? Leo. It's, it's a tough one for me. I love playing in the Navigator, and what is hot garbage to some is gold to others. Uh, <laughs> I'd be remiss to not vote for Buckaroo Banzai because the theme song is the ringtone on my phone. <laughs> <laughs> so I, I, have well, to give it, well, I have to give it to Buckaroo. <laughs> well, I mean, playing the Navigator is moving on 5-3. to three, so, oh, I so, I mean, anyway. it's, it's all good. And I mean... <sighs> Uh, yeah, one man's trash and another man's treasure. That that saying has meaning for a reason. People people like to hate on Star Wars and other shows I'm on, but I fucking like to go bitch slap them sideways when they say shit like that. But wait, hold on, that's me. Original Star trilogy Wars Star Wars or woke Disney Star Wars? All of them. If you if you if you hate on the OGs or the prequels, you will get bitch slapped. If you hate on Disney's, I can I can stand it. I can stand it. I may defend, but I will stand it. Ah, fucking Finn. Ugh. But which the next matchup is going to get started off by Tyler, and it's number twenty-six, the Hidden from nineteen eighty-seven, versus number eight, the Abyss from nineteen eighty-nine. Hmm. I'm sorry. But yeah, this is number eight. I don't know if it's an eighty-seven or eight, but. It's eight. Whatever, something eighties, and I think I'm gonna have to go with the abyss. Oh. All right, which means the abyss gets a vote. And Vanessa, which way do you want to go? What was the first one again? The hidden. It is basically. It's basically. About a co a cop who teams with the FBI agent, and the FBI agent is a alien is in disguise, and he's hunting the alien that killed his family that's jumping from body to body. Okay, that one. It, it had Kyle MacLachlan and Michael Nuri, Nuri in it, and they were both big actors in the eighties. Sounds great. Let's vote for that one. Sounds like John Wick with a few extra steps. 
<laughs> yeah. It it bit. I mean, it kind of reminded me of um, they live to some degree, but kind of. But uh, which way do you want to go, Chad? I love James Cameron, so we'll go with the abyss. And Felix, the abyss. All right, I gotta give another one to the hidden. Because The Hidden, I thought, was a way better movie. The Abyss is more of a ocean adventure movie to me than a alien movie. Yes, the creature was kind of cool. It kind of reminded me of the creature in Nope, which I fucking hated. So, because Nope was a garbage movie. I'm, I'm sorry. I'm sorry, Jordan Peele. I love most of your movies, but Nope was horrible. Okay, time out for a second. Transformers doesn't constitute as an alien movie. Abyss doesn't constitute as an alien movie. What exactly makes an alien movie an alien movie for you? This is a actual, fantastic question. I guess actual aliens in some degree. I mean, <laughs> okay, so the, the, I'll, next time uh, I go right. to Mexico, I'll bring somebody back. Boom, that's our instant <laughs> alien movie. I mean, put it this way an abyss. It could have been more undiscovered sea creatures than aliens that they found. That's the way I see it. That's the way I see it. It could have been more, because we don't know everything that's in the ocean from a paranormal standpoint, by any fucking means. So it could have been an undiscovered earth creature that lives in the ocean. So, and it was it was mainly about them fucking diving the whole movie. Like, I'm, I'm, I'm good. I'm good. It was well done. I'm not going to lie. It was very well done, but the Hidden was too, and The Hidden was a way more entertaining movie, in my opinion. But, enough about my opinion. Kevin, what's your opinion? Uh, the Abyss. Uh, it had Robocop in it, so we'll go that way. <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> the Abyss didn't have Robocop. Uh, and. You're thinking Leo? of Bob Leviathan? No, The Abyss had Peter Weller in it. No, it didn't. The Abyss was at Harris. Peter Weller was in Leviathan. It had Ed Harris, Mary Elizabeth, Michael Bean, Leo Burmester, and a bunch of people I never heard of. I, th I think he what, would you vote for uh, Buckaroo Bonanza because that was uh, Robocop. <laughs> That's <my role>. <laughs> <laughs> Hold on, am I looking at the wrong thing here? Yeah, the cast it. Oh yeah, you're right. Never mind. <laughs> His vote Either counts. Way. Oh, Abyss. His vote counts. Yeah, no, I'm Go still ahead. going Abyss because I'm not going for the other one. <laughs> You know, if you haven't seen The Hidden, I actually recommend it. It's a really good movie. But, but uh, Mike, which way would you have gone? Uh, the Abyss. Which means The Abyss is 100% moving on and will face Flight of the Navigator in the next round. But the next matchup, and I, oh, I fucking hate this matchup already. And I love both these movies. And it's going to be started off by Vanessa. It's number 25 from 1988. Mac and me. <laughs> 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 One of Kevin's favorites right there. What in the E.T.? E yeah, it doesn't um, look like an E.T. knockoff. This, <laughs> this, this, I'm saying this now before it gets to my turn, even. To me, this is the good version of E.T. E.T. is trash. But, oh, but this E.T. looks high as oh, shit. I, I can't trust anything you say anymore, then. <laughs> welcome welcome to my movie opinions. Pe Kevin, Kevin's used to it. Kevin's used to it. So is Vanessa. But I'm guessing you don't like Reese's Pieces, either. I love Reese's Pieces, thank you. But And Mac and Me is facing number seven from 1985, Enemy Mine. Oh. Huh. This looks almost like a knockoff Thor. No, I guess it looks uh, like a Star uh, Trek movie. The dude on the right looks like something I left in my toilet. Guys, <laughs> <laughs> junior guys. <laughs> and actually, that that that, that the, the Thor the Thor looking guy is Dennis Quaid. So yeah, yeah. Dennis Quaid wait a minute, it doesn't yeah. look and, like <laughs> shit. And and and, and Luke and Luke Gossett Jr. is in this movie too. Yeah, he's the he's the alien. <laughs> yeah, he's the alien. But 
I can, I can see it, actually. <laughs> but I'm happy I'm not going first. I'm, I'm, happy, I'm happy I'm not going first in this. But Vanessa, which way do you want to go? <laughs> well, now when you said Dennis Quaid, that it, it's really difficult for me to <sighs> knock off ET. To, to, to think, <laughs> it's really hard for you not to think with your pants. I know. I know. Knock off ET. <laughs> So you're going with you're going with Mac and me, or you're knocking off Mac and me and going with enemy mine? <laughs> no, I'm gonna go with the. I just like the knock the the stoned looking knockoff ET. So that's what I'm going with. I'm sorry, Dennis. I still love you. And Chad, which way are you gonna go? You know, Mac and me is a terrible movie. Uh, <laughs> enemy I just mine. I disagree 100 fucking percent. But okay, enemy mine is good, but. I will say I'm going for I'm voting for Enemy Mind. However, if you have the chance to watch the Mystery Science Theater 3000 episode of Mac and Me, it makes it so much better. <laughs> they definitely play up the fact that he looks like he's high all the time. And okay, I didn't know there was a MST3K version of Mac and Me. I will have to watch that now 100% because I love I love Crow and uh, fucking Tom Servo. I just actually sold my pop figures of them on eBay. I fucking am sad about that. I love those pop figures, but I need the money. Uh, which way you want to go, Felix? I have to go with en Enemy Mind, man. The other movie, I, probably the worst movie on this whole list, if you ask me. <laughs> <laughs> probably the worst there are, made, there, if you there, ask me. See, I thought I I actually watched Mac and Me for a second time for this bracket, and I didn't even realize it for like the first twenty minutes. And I was like, "Oh yeah, I've seen this," and I still watched the whole thing again because it actually makes me tear up because <laughs> the kid in the wheelchair, the whole movie, I feel so fucking like bad for. Her. Like, yeah, he's a whiny little punk, but I feel bad for him, and I do love that they 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 use the scene of him rolling down the mountain. But when he falls off the side of the cliff, they use that for um, what's his fucking name? That Paul Rudd. the guy, that the guy that talks like a robot, Stephen Hawking. They uh, they use that for they use it they use that they use that image in, in a lot of Stephen Hawking uh, Epstein Island memes. So it's pretty it's pretty funny. But Enemy Mine though surprised me because I never heard of it, and. It, it was a really good movie, though. I mean, about different races coming together to survive. So it was a good message. But I'm still going to throw it to Mac and Me just because I think I know which way this one's going. And Mac and Me needs more love because it's a really good movie. And it, it's 100% the better version of fucking E.T. I don't care what anybody says. The best thing about E.T. was the Universal Studios ride, and that was it. So I've said my piece. Kevin? Um, if I, I wish I could scrub the memory of Mech and Me out of my brain. <laughs> I freaking hate that movie with a passion. Um, <laughs> so yeah, it, on my on my podcast, uh, that's how we rate everything. It, was a movie bad? Was it Mac and Me bad, or was it, you know, just bad? That's how we rate it on my podcast. So yeah, uh, I'm going enemy on this one. I may actually have to watch this movie now. <laughs> Yeah, uh, it's, really it's I, I, found, I found it enjoyable and adorable. Okay, but is it like, to me, there's like, my level is the movie Rubber with that fucking tire. That's my <laughs> level. <laughs> but like, I also really uh, enjoy that movie. <laughs> Vanessa, s somewhere Kevin Stoner is rolling over in his grave as you say that, but. Oh, I know, because same. my first watching it was with him and Amanda <laughs> we had a little watch party <laughs> oh god I still haven't seen that movie because <laughs> Casey makes you not want to watch that movie but it's so bad it's so bad oh, I'm, so I'm, good. I it's it's in one of the brackets on, for this show at some point in for the year it came out that's it but uh which way do you want to go eventually. though Unfortunately, but Leo, which way do you want to go? I think uh, Mike will agree with me if our third co-host, our Kevin, was on the show right now. 
Mac mm-hmm. and me would get another vote because he talked about it all the time on our podcast. Uh, and my favorite part of Mac and me, like you said, the scene where the kid in the wheelchair falls, falls off the cliff. Every time Paul Rudd makes an appearance on the Conan O'Brien show, uh, he would go on to promote one of his movies and they would cut away to, to show a clip from the film. And every single time it ends up being that clip from Mac and me of the kid falling off the cliff. <laughs> a running joke on, all the time. Uh, but I am going with Enemy Mine. It's it's a... Uh, I love Lewis Gossett Jr. and I love Dennis Quaid. It's just, I think it's just a, a, a very a brilliant plot. I love, I love how this film... I mean, I'm not going to lie. Hearing that little alien kid say, uncle, uncle, like always made me tear up a little bit. But it really did. Dennis Quaid was a good uncle. But uh, which way you want to go, Mike? Oh, I love Enemy Mine, hands down. <laughs> See, I didn't watch it until a couple weeks ago. That's a, that's a sad part. <laughs> I watched it when I was a kid, so yeah. <laughs> well, put it this way. Mac and Me came out the year I was born, so I was not watching it as an infant. But <laughs> actually, they probably could put it on as an infant. I probably would have found the aliens cute and enjoyable as a baby. But That would make a lot which of way, sense. Listen, you. But Tyler, which way you want to go? Enemy mine. And enemy mine, of course, moves on six to two. To a face, whoever wins the next one, and oh, you all gonna hate me for this one. You really are. Well, well maybe. hang on, let's find out why. Oh, you'll find out why. <laughs> and Chad, you get to start this one off. We're back at the top again, and it's number twenty-four from nineteen eighty-seven. GI Joe the movie. He's a real American hero. Versus <laughs> number six, number six from 1988. They live. Oh, easy one. Huh. Yeah, see, I don't hate you because I don't have to go first. <laughs> uh, yeah, you get to go last. <laughs> you know, in this one. No, oh, oh, second uh, last, second I last. I do. Yes, Burrito you do. Durano. I'm sorry, sweetie. That's right. You know, in this one with, unlike Transformers, in G.I. Joe, they wussed out and didn't kill people. So I was disappointed yeah. in G.I. Joe the movie versus Transformers the movie. But regardless, I'm going with They Live. Definitely, They Live. G.I. Joe is based in the Army. They killed a lot of people on that, and it just they were replaceable. As soon as, yeah. another, as, soon as one died, yeah. that other one popped up. No, they would just... Go, go Joe! They would parachute out of the helicopter as it yeah, exploded. It's basically Hydra. Uh, I mean, well, that's what that's what Cobra is basically. I mean, that's what they base GI Joe off of as Shield versus uh, Hydra, Hydra. But which way do you want to go, there, Felix? They live, man, ha- hands down. J- just for the the one line itself, I came when uh, I'm all out of bubble gum. I know I killed that but how does that go again <laughs> it goes i'm here to kick ass and, and chew bubble gum, yes. gum. and, and I'm all out of bubble all gum, out of bubble gum. R- R- rowdy R- rowdy rowdy piper well i will throw one to gi joe the movie because i actually saw it for the first time about a month ago it was another saturday morning watch because i feel like i have to watch cartoon cartoon movies on saturday morning just for nostalgia purposes and I found G.I. Joe, the movie, actually enjoyable, even though I never was a G.I. Joe fan at all. Still haven't seen the live-action ones. I just never was a G.I. Joe fan. I It was before my time. But they actually had storyline in that movie, unlike Transformers, so I enjoyed the shit out of it because it was actually a good storyline. And seeing the uh, fucking snake guy I always hated from Transform- from uh, G.I. Joe when they made fun of him on Robot Chicken, seeing him get turned into an actual snake was kind of funny. So I'll go with G.I. Joe, the movie. I think his name was Even Snake the, Eyes or something. Was it Snake Eyes? I don't think. You're, you're talking about Cobra I, Commander. Oh, yeah, it was Cobra Commander, yeah. Okay, I was going to say, I didn't think it was Snake Eyes. But, but I mean, yeah, fucking. He talks like with the fucking lisp all the time. He's fucking annoying as shit. But, <laughs> I, I'm, don't get me wrong. They Live is an amazing movie, and I already see which way this is going, so I'm not too concerned about it, but... I, I I already know both shows they live is gonna be in the final four probably, but which way do you want to go, Kevin? Oh, uh, they live. I mean, 
The rowdy one, man. Come on. Yeah, you don't got to convince me about Rowdy Roddy Piper. Just when they think they get all the answers, I change the questions. Change the questions. Love it. But uh, which way do you want to go, Leo? <laughs> A, I already said John Carpenter is one of my favorite directors. B, Rowdy yeah. Piper, favorite wrestler growing up. And C, Keith David is a fucking legend. They live. <laughs> and Mike? Well, considering for the podcast group text that I have, my text tone is um, the bubblegum quote, I'm going they live. <laughs> Which means they live is moving on to face enemy mine in the next round. But which way which way would you have gone there, Tyler? Not would have, still would. And they live because of their snappy one liners. <laughs> and finish us off. Finish us off, Vanessa. Which way you want to go? Um so no surprise. I've seen either of these, but this this poster here they live he looks like bloody bender from futurama so i'm going with they live <laughs> he does, he does. <laughs> i didn't i didn't see that until you pointed it out yeah. <laughs> that's what i've been staring at this entire time <laughs> i think he kind of got more of the uh what you call it, the mars attack vibe <gasps> yeah, yeah kind of but... yes ack, ack, yeah. ack, 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 ack. <laughs> but that means we have an, another playing matchup to determine who's going to go into the first round. And it's going to get started off by Felix. And it's number five number from 1987 Spaceballs. <laughs> <laughs> and be, be prepared to hate me because it's facing number one, number one seed from 1986. Aliens. Oh, oh. okay, yeah. What see, the fuck? Like Dude, why'd you do this to me, man? I oh, didn't even, I, I, didn't even I did I did I did I didn't do I actually didn't do this. The rankings did it as much as I fucking hate space balls and I rub this in Chancey's face because I fucking hate space balls because it makes fun of Star Wars. But I, I why Kevin's favorite. Um God damn it, man. I, I mean, get over here, you bitch. I mean, when she was in that thing, I remember seeing that in the theater and thinking, yeah. Um, fuck. But I, speak, I seen Spaceballs a lot more back in the day, like a lot more. But fuck, man. <laughs> Oh, no, they really got me squirming over here. I'm, I'm gonna have to go with the balls like this. <laughs> I know, right? Just because I think space balls is gonna win, I'll go with alien. I'm disappointed in you. I know you would be. I'm waiting to hear well, the button you're gonna press right now, too. And Harley, you just started watching Star Wars. You better not be like a space balls. You just got through the prequels. You should be loving Star Wars and hating anything to make fun of it. But I have to give it I have to give it to Aliens, of course. Because I actually just rewatched Aliens for this bracket and I forgot how good a movie Aliens is, especially compared to the first one, which was nowhere near as good. But Aliens is incredible. Alien I would vote against in a bracket if it was against something better, but Kevin, which way you want to go? I say with a smile on my face. I knew it. I'm surrounded by assholes. <laughs> I'm going Welcome to my show. I'm, I'm going to baseball. It's a better Star Wars movie than Star Wars. Uh, okay, Freddy. No. <laughs> <laughs> but, uh, which way you want to go, Leo? Aliens or space balls? All right. So you don't like space balls because you say it makes fun of Star Wars, but I have to point out that George Lucas gave Mel Brooks his blessing to make the film so much so that he even let him use industrial light and magic to provide a special effect for it. Mm -hmm. He just, um, well, yes, but he just said you couldn't, you, you can't make, you can't, make, you can't make Harrison Ford's character look like Han Solo. 
So it made well, him look like a, like a maybe like Indiana Jones. Yeah. He he couldn't make merchandise either because and that's why they made fun of it the whole movie. But so it's it's a satire, it's not making fun of it. It's I think it shows it love, if anything. Um but this is really tough, man, because aliens is just uh there's a re- there's a reason it's number one seed. Yeah, yeah. Um I love Mel Brooks, I love space balls, but I I have to go with aliens. And Mike? Yeah, I've got to go with aliens as well. And Tyler. See what I've noticed about a lot of these movies is that they're essentially what do you call them? Parodies or prequels to already existing movies. And had we placed Spaceballs to literally just about any other movie, except Transformers the movie, to this list, we probably would have given it to Spaceballs. But the thing is, Aliens is good because it's an original content, whereas Spaceballs only exists as a satire. So I'm going to have to give it to Aliens. Oh, it only exists as a satire, but I 100% agree with that one. <laughs> and Vanessa, which way you want to go? Tyler makes a fair point. However, no, no, before I say however, and I also love Star Wars. Big Star Wars. Oh, I, oh trust me, however, I've seen your Princess, I, I've seen your Princess Leia cosplay. I know. Wait, However, hold on. Is it the slave Princess Leia cosplay? Yes. Yes. <laughs> she says yes with such enthusiasm. Leia. Okay, I'm picturing it. You may proceed. <laughs> you could pay, you could pay to see it too, but yes. Instagram, it's there. <laughs> oh yeah, it's on your Instagram too. Yeah, I forgot about that. Um. However, I still really like balls, so we're going with space balls. <laughs> and that's why we love you, Vanessa. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, and Chad, finish this out. Which way would you have gone? So, on my letterbox rating, I have space balls as five out of five. It is incredible. I love space balls so much. But. Uh-oh. For this cat, more about how you love balls. I love it, love it in space, <laughs> naked space, all that stuff. But with this category being, you know, 80s alien movies, I gotta go with aliens. You can't not go with aliens here. Second best movie ever to say, Get away from her, you bitch. Just out of curiosity, what's the first Harry Potter, Harry Potter final movie? <laughs> huh. Seriously? Okay. Yeah, that's definitely yes. that's a big, huh? oh, shit. Harry Potter Harry Potter and the Deathly <laughs> Hollows Part Two. Yeah, no, I'm sorry. I, that, that quote's way more memorable than aliens. Yeah. I mean it's a little different in Harry Potter. They she adds my daughter, but still. Also to be fair, it, aliens did it first. Well, obviously. JK Rowling was freaking a child when aliens came out. She was even born yet. I don't think she was even born yet, so but that, me- that means. Is. What was that? How old is she anyway? 50s, I think. Maybe. I honestly don't know. She was pretty young and homeless. When, she was pretty young and homeless when she wrote Harry Potter, the first one. So. Huh. <clears throat> and, now, and, and now she's one of the most hated people in the world. But, you know, life goes on. And okay, that means. Yes, exactly. And that means I get to start the next one off, and I fucking hate this because it's it's the number one seed, Aliens from 1986, versus the number 23 seed from 1989, Earth Girls Are Easy, <laughs> starring Jim Carrey, Damon Wayans, and Jeff Goldblum and Gina Davis. Hmm. And just because I don't see it going this way, I have to give it to Earth Girls Are Easy because I found that movie so fucking hilarious and enjoyable. Jim Carrey is me- Great. Jim Carrey and Damon Wayans are meant to play aliens who don't talk English. But 
Which way do you want to go, Kevin? Earth girls are easy or Earth, 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 easy. Earth girls are easy. Really? Oh yeah. I love this movie too, and I'm kind of sour the aliens beat out Spaceballs. So yeah. And Harley agrees with you. It says Earth girls as well. Uh, but what, which way do you want to go, Leo? Alien. No thought was required in that one. <laughs> which way do you want to go, Mike? Aliens. <laughs> Tying it up. And Tyler? What are aliens? <laughs> For 500 Alex? For $500, Alex. And Vanessa? <laughs> you know, as much as my whole brand says to go with Earth Girls, no, I'm going to go Aliens. <laughs> this one is, is just, no. <laughs> and, I mean, I mean, the scene in Earth Girls where they're dancing in the club is freaking hilarious. The whole movie, but that scene is just freaking hilarious. But... Which way do you want to go, Chad? I really like the message of Earth Girls Are Easy, but I'm going to go with Aliens. <laughs> it's a great message. I, I, mean. <laughs> I mean, it might be the best message out of all these movies. So, you know. And Aliens moves on, as I foresaw. But which way do you want to go? the future! <laughs> It's all to you, move? Felix. Oh, okay. Sorry, I didn't hear you. Um, I have to go with aliens. Which means aliens does move on six to two. Sorry, Kevin. We lost that one. Uh, <laughs> I, I knew I knew aliens was gonna make it. I just had to, you know. Um, try. same. Yeah, I know. Same. Same. It's gonna it's gonna be the same on Sunday. I already fucking know it. But if aliens doesn't make it to the fucking semifinals, I will be surprised. But. The, the the next two matches are play ins to determine which of these will be going which of these four movies we're going into round one. And the first play in is number twenty two from nineteen eighty nine. Communion. Christopher Walken's masterpiece. Versus number four from nineteen eighty two. The thing. <laughs> Poorly. And <laughs> This one gets started off by Kevin. Oh, uh, John Carpenter's The Thing. I mean, I, I'm not even going to try to uh, give my reason for that one. That yeah, I'm kind of, uh, I'm kind of, I'm kind of, I'm kind of pissed going last on this. But which way do you want to go, Leo? Uh, I love all things Christopher Walken, but I've already shown love for John Carpenter twice on this list. So, you know, third time's a charm. I'm going to the thing. And Mike? Oh, definitely the thing. <laughs> and Tyler? Now you know. I want to <laughs> give my love to Christopher Walker, but we just got to give it to the thing. So I'm going to have to go with the thing. And it needs more cowbells. I, I don't understand what's going on right now. <laughs> a, pr a pretty well, a pretty well done Christopher Walken impression. That's what's going on right now. But oh, okay. Vanessa, Van Vanessa, which way you want to go? <laughs> Tyler said it great. So, yep. <laughs> Summoning Chancey, even, even though he's not. I here know. At the moment. I know. I really. I'm so tempted to just keep saying yup, yup after everything. We I'm still got still... make CA's right. We, we got to make those shirts. But, Please. I will rep uh, it constantly. Everything. But, uh, Chad, which way do you want to go, even though the thing is moved into round one? Yeah, the thing. No question. Uh, and Felix. Think. Okay. Y'all going to hate me for this, but... I hate the fucking thing. I hate that movie with a hardcore passion. Right. Just because I think it's a boring ass movie. I and the, the the creature design is so fucking lazy. But 
I the, the only version of the thing I like is the one with on Robot Chicken where it's Charlie Brown and Snoopy's the thing. But huh, I thought you were gonna say I, the Marvel one. I have oh well I do okay, I do love the, I do love Marvel's thing, don't get me wrong, I do. I'm not exactly I'm not exactly a fan of the casting for the new one, but I do love Marvel's the thing. And well, I love it. let's I can't let's just see how it plays out. I, I want I want Michael Chiklis back, goddammit. But uh, Communion, I wasn't exactly impressed with either. Even though I mean, Christopher Walken was amazing in it, but I just wasn't a big fan of Communion. I mean, I did like the representation of all the different alien species. I'm not gonna lie. As a paranormal per lover, I do love that. But hey, ALM, Alien Lives Matter. Exactly. And it actually, it's one letter away from one of my favorite aliens. But that uh, means the final. Yeah, he likes to eat cats. But the final match of the night, the final playing match of the night, is going to get started off by Leo, and it's number twenty-one from nineteen eighty-six. My nomination for rotisserie cinema coming up on Yahoo podcast, Invaders from Mars, and it's going against number three from nineteen eighty-two. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck me. I know, I know. Yeah, I'm yeah. sorry. I already know what I'm choosing. <laughs> Did they ever say only why one of his fingers glow and like do the rest of his fingers glow or is it just the one? No, just like a lot. Don't just, put just that like question a... into my head. It's already out there. Just like a lot of horrible men. Yeah, I... Just like a lot of horrible just like a, a lot of horrible men, he's only good with one finger. But which way do you want to go, Leo? Et, E.T., yeah. And Mike, I'm phoning home too. <laughs> <laughs> and Tyler. Hmm. I'm gonna have to go with E.T. Has everybody seen this movie? I have to ask. Cause... I've seen Invaders from Mars, but I'm not voting against E.T. <laughs> <laughs> and Vanessa, I already know, but tell me yeah. anyway. Going home. <laughs> Every woman loves a glowing finger. <laughs> have a and some guys. <laughs> And so, and some guys too. Yeah, okay. I'm not gonna be sexist. Some guys too. But the batteries don't aren't. Discriminate. I mean, <laughs> you, don't, you don't need batteries for a finger. But yeah. uh, Chad, wh which way are you gonna go, Chad? I'm going with the uh, knockoff Mac and me, ET. <laughs> oh, I love you for saying that. I fucking love you for saying that. Yeah, I wish I would have thought of that. <laughs> I was, I was like, I hope Vanessa doesn't say this. I hope she doesn't say this. Oh, I was really, I was trying, but yep, I'm, I'm proud of you. That was a good one. I'm jealous. And Felix, I have to go with ET, man. See, as I said earlier, the only cool thing about ET was the Universal Studios ride because you, they would type your name onto a computer card, you give it to them when you go on the ride, and as you're leaving, ET be waving, and he would say goodbye, Jeremy. It was a fucking fun time. But other than that. That's like Mr. Burns going, excellent. <laughs> well, wait, hold on. Hold on a second. If you hated the movie, why did you ride the ride? Because I was a kid. I went every ride at Universal Studios. I didn't care what the movie was. I went, I went, I went, the, I went the ride for movies I never even saw. So you're a <laughs> Who ride cares? It's, it's Universal Studios. You're paying a shitload of money to go in there. You're going every damn ride. But yeah, ride slot. I will take it. I've been called. I've been called the podcast or I will take a ride slot as well. But which way would you have gone, Felix? I mean, Kevin. I'm sorry. Uh, Et for sure. And I've wrote, ridden the Et ride many a times at uh, Universal Studios, and it sucks. So. <laughs> <laughs> Wow. I agree. Did it say the ride you YouTube, Kevin, or what? Did it the say ride and start? yet, and yet, that's why I said the best thing about it is the ride. But yeah, you're right. I mean, I mean, well, 
See, but... y'all did it. Y'all did it now. Y'all did it. And Mike gets to start this one out. Because the final matchup in round one is a 1982 matchup. <laughs> and it's... <laughs> Basically, because it's number four, The Thing, versus number three, E.T. the Extraterrestrial. Ooh. And y'all made this matchup. You can't blame me. Well, I'm still going... Uh... I'm still well, I mean, you invited us, so... <laughs> you know it's cool. Loophole! <laughs> and I have no regrets for that, but... Yet. We're not done. Oh, um, no. The first round's over. I have no regrets. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, which way you want to go, Mike? Or, uh, yeah, Mike. I'm still phoning home. And no Tyler? <laughs> uh, phone home. And Vanessa? <laughs> yeah, I'm phoning home, too. And Chad? You know, as far as I'm concerned, this could almost be the finals. These two movies against each other. This is super tough. It's way too early for these two, but well, uh, I'm going with E.T. Um, well, E.T. is now up 4 nothing, which means one more vote and it moves on. And I will say before Felix votes... It is going to be facing... Whoever wins this is going to be facing aliens in the next round. Huh. So, Felix, which way you want to go? Just because I spent so much time trying to play that uh, game back in the day in Atari, I have to go with E.T., man. <laughs> the, worst, the worst Atari <laughs> game ever. <laughs> you know what? I wouldn't say the worst. You just had to figure... It, it took forever it, to figure out what you had to do, but it was right in the worst it. game. Didn't ever. they destroy like so many out in the desert because they couldn't sell it? <laughs> yeah. yeah. Did they you yeah, them. they went out and like dug them back out or something? I was seeing somewhere a while back. But yeah, um, I have to go with ET for now. So I'm gonna lose it right now in a little bit, anyways. But yeah, and so yeah. ET won't move on to face aliens in round two. But and Chancy, who it was his pick for this to be put into the wheel that it won from this topic, he says the thing, and he will be. And I'm happy you're joining now, buddy, because the first round's are pretty much over. So Sunday night, this can go a completely different way for the whole first round. So that's gonna be the interesting part. But and I think and uh, I think we're up to ten people on or nine people on Sunday now. So fuck us, or maybe even ten. So yeah, fuck us definitely. But. Which way do you want to go? Oh, me. Fuck, I hate both these movies. Fuck, I'll give, I'd rather watch E.T. than The Thing, so I'll give it to E.T. And that's saying something. But which way do you want to go, Kevin? Um, because Only because there's e an E.T. in Star Wars, I'm going The Thing. <laughs> e yes, E.T. is in Star Wars. That's the only redeeming quality about it. Well, the creatures are not ET himself. ET, the the regular ET, I think, pretty much died on the way home. But I think they saw the Galactic Council about that one. But which way do you want to go there, Leo? I, mean, I know ET's already moving on, but I think you know where my vote lies at this point. The thing, <laughs> John, or should I say John Carpenter? John Carpenter. Yeah. Which means ET does move on, and round one is officially over at. However the fuck long we've been doing this in two hours, <laughs> almost. So round two, and I'm gonna shut off the movie uh, posters now because we've all seen them all. So, but round two is gonna get started off by Tyler, and it's a 1988 matchup. It's number 20, Killer Clowns from Outer Space versus number 19, My Stepmother is an Alien. Hmm. Stepmother is an alien. Killer clowns. I think I'm gonna to have to go with the stepmothers and aliens. And Vanessa? Yep. Uh sum <laughs> summoning the maniacal one himself. Now that he's here, yep. And Harley says killer clowns. But which way do you want to go, Chad? I agree with Harley. Killer clowns. Harley will get her damn voice on Sunday when she's on it. But 
Which way do you want to go, Felix? Killer counts as well. And it's all tied up coming down to me right now. And I like both these movies. I do, but I prefer comedy over wherever the fuck Killer Clown is supposed to be. I don't know. It's supposed to be horror or it's supposed to be comedy or it's supposed to just be sci-fi. I don't fucking know. So I'm going my stepmother's nailing because that was a more enjoyable movie to me. Even though Killer Clown's our spaces. One of us. Google Didn't gobble, you just Google give a whole gobble. spiel about being a juggalo and you couldn't go? And yes, but we are not. We, we are not defined. <laughs> but we are not defined by a movie that came out before ICP was even a freaking thing. So, okay, we are not defined by that. So, <laughs> now if you want to talk about uh the movie the the movies they've done. Hustlers and the Space One and shit. Like, you want to talk about those movies? And yeah, we represent those movies. As horrible as they may be. But, moving on. Which way you want to go, Kevin? Uh, killer Clowns. I had a killer balloon animal dog. Come on. <laughs> I mean, it did. It did. And Leo, it's all tied up. Which way you want to go? Killer Clown, wow, 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 from out of space. And Mike, Killer Clowns, <laughs> which means killer, no, no tiebreaker in the air because Killer Clowns is moving on. Unf well, not unfortunately, because I like both these movies, so I'm not gonna complain. And I think it's a beat in the next round anyway. So, uh, but it's gonna face either number 18, Explorers from 1985, or number 17, Repo Man from 1984. And it's getting started. Off by Vanessa. Oh, okay. Wait, what? What are the options? Repo Man or Explorers? Mm, explorers. And Chad? You know, I don't like either one of these options. I'd like to give a buy to Killer Clowns on the next round and just not vote for either of these, but <laughs> <laughs> I have to yeah. explorers, I guess. And Felix? Explorers. Yeah, out of these two movies. Fuck, I'll give one to Repo Man. I feel pretty much the same about both these movies, so. They're both enjoyable movies, just I never would they're not rewatchable. I wouldn't watch one of these again. But which way do you want to go, Kevin? Uh, Repo Man is the Emilio Estevez movie, right? So yeah. Yes. Repo. Repo. And which way do you want to go, Leo? Repo Man. And Mike? Repo. And Tyler. Repo Man. Which means Repo Man does move on in a 5-3. to three. Close one, actually. But it is cannon fodder for Killer Clowns from Outer Space next round. So This one, though, may be a little more difficult for some of you. It's going to get started off by Chad, back at the top. And it's number 16, Transformers, the movie from 1986, versus number 15, Alien Nation from 1988. I'm still rolling with Transformers. And Felix? I have to go with Alien Nation. I'm going to agree with you on that and give it a big fat yup because Alien Nation was a way better movie than Transformers. Plus, it gave my boy Big Willie a chance to do a movie with an orc. So, come on now. Big Willie. Yep. We love Big Willie on all podcasts I'm on. <laughs> that's why I'm on, that's why I'm on them. But which way you want to go, Kevin? I'll tie it back up with uh oh not 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 the one that you went with. Transformers? Yeah, Transformers. Jeez, my mind went blank. And Leo. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't see that. What was it? Ah, <laughs> uh, the robots—the robots in disguise. 
Yes. <laughs> and Mike, which way you want to go? Is there more than meets the eye? Transformers. You know, been telling girls that since college, but you know they don't listen. Because <laughs> Earth girls really aren't easy. <laughs> yeah, if only they were. And the ones that are, you don't want. But <clears throat> which way you want to go, Tyler? Transformers. <laughs> All that beats the eye. The Transformers. <laughs> Robot which, <laughs> which means tra- <laughs> Jesus Christ. Oh, and see, my co-host actually agrees with me and says alienation, but Transformers is moving on. Which way would you have gone, Vanessa? Finish us with off. you. I would have gone with Which you mean? in third chance a lot. Steal my name for him, goddammit. But hey, that means the head's allowed, but for you. But that means Transformers moves on five to three. And it will face one of these two in the final matchup on this side of round two. It's a 1987's matchup that Felix gets to start off, and y'all gonna fucking hate yourselves for making this. It's number two, Predator, versus number 12, Batteries Not Included. I see no reason to hate this. Yeah, I don't either. I don't hate it at all. You said Predator, Felix? Yeah. It's kind of easy for me, but yeah, Predator. (sighs) Uh, I don't want the Batteries Not Included, honestly, because I kind of see which way it's going, but I don't know. I, I... Predator's not good until it's just Schwarzenegger and the Predator. Everything before that is just the foreplay, the tickling of the balls and shit. So, I thought it's a bad thing, though. It's not a bad thing, but... <laughs> wow, someone doesn't like foreplay. <laughs> Apparently. I, I am a fan. Man. I I am a fan, but I don't know. That reason included is just like a classic Spielberg movie to me. So. Yeah, the more, but, uh, that, the more that title just doesn't sound right. Well, in my dirty mind, it sounds perfect. But which way are you going to go, Kevin? Oh, Predator, hands down. It's not even close on this one. And Leo? If it bleeds, we can kill it. <laughs> well, that's the, stance, that's the stance the U.S. Army has been taking for a long time. But <laughs> which way you want to go, Mike? Well, I'm going to go with the U.S. Army since I was a soldier, so uh, we're going Predator. <laughs> See, you know what I'm talking about. And Tyler. I'm going with Predator. And Vanessa. As fun as the other name is, I'm going with Predator. I mean, the the Predator's face when he, when he does his howl actually looks kind of like a part of the female anatomy, kind of, so... I always thought kinda. that, too. And Predator does kind of sound a little rapey, if you're into that. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> there are some kinks. Hey, we and don't kink shame. We don't kink shame. <laughs> as kids, Out loud. As, as, we don't kink shame on the show, we don't. But, as, as, trust me, we've had furries on here and everything. But as Chansey says, there's something out there waiting for us, and it ain't no man. So... It's a woman, and God help us all. But which way do you want to go, Chad? Going with Predator all day. And that means Predator does move on with a freaking 7-1 to one vote, as I knew it would. And, oh, Chansey's right. In Predator 2, Danny Glover called him pussy face. <laughs> so, yep. But now that brings us to the other side of round two. And it's going to get started off by, oh, me. And I don't want to start this one off. Fuck me. Well, it's number 11, The Last Starfighter from 84, versus number 10, Cocoon from 85. (sighs) I got to give it to Cocoon, personally. But, Kevin, which way are you thinking? Yeah, I think I got to go with you on this one, man. I think I got to go Cocoon. You know who doesn't love having diabetes, but I don't love having diabetes. <laughs> uh, here are the people I know, but I mean, it's just fun to say. Hi, I'm Scott Malkison, and I have diabetes. But... 
I've got mad uh, and I have diabetes. Okay, that was a better impression, but I wasn't even trying to do the tongue thing. But uh, to be fair, I've been taking voice classes, so uh, they pay off. Apparently, your Christopher Walken impression was one of the best ones I've heard in a long time. So, oh, thank you. You have a chance to get back to that again eventually. I think actually, I, I, no, no, that movie didn't make it. But uh, that means Leo is a cocoon or last starfighter. <laughs> <laughs> Last star. Last. He's doing the writing. Okay. And Mike. Well, it's hard to be. It's hard to vote against the Goot, but I'm going with Last Starfighter. And Tyler, it's all tied up at the moment. Cocoon. Ooh. And Vanessa. Okay, what were they? <laughs> Cocoon versus Last Starfighter. Cocoon, that's what I wanted. Yep. Because she likes cocooning. We know. Yep, exactly. <laughs> and Chad, which way you want to go? I'm going with the Last Starfighter. And I know Felix is going with the Last Starfighter with me. So it's going to be a, a tie or a first tiebreaker. Let's do it. Which way are you going to go, yeah. Felix? Cocoon's a better movie, but I have to go with Last Starfighter. Which, Chancy, Wait, or anybody... It's a better movie. Where are you going with Starfighter? That does make sense. Starfighter was more, as a kid, you wish that happened to you. you, you it, it was... Uh, I remember it more. Um, even though I remember the one line about uh, in Cocoon, I, I said earlier about, you know, one, it's old people wanting some. But you know what? Now that I'm an old person, though, <laughs> well, I mean, I'm like, if you're... <laughs> I agree. When I when I was a kid, I wanted the last Starfighter to come down and bring me into the video game. But now that like nothing works anymore, I would like the alien to come down and make me <laughs> idolized again. So those are pretty good points. But yeah, I, I have mean, to Starfighter. Well, Chancy or Harley, if you're watching, we need a tie-breaking vote between Cocoon and Last Starfighter. Whoever gets it in there first. Giggity. Starfighter, 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 Starfighter. Do it. Cocoon, cocoon. Wait, that just sounds like I'm a bird. <laughs> I, I know there's three, I know there's at least three people watching. Oh, there we go. There you go Harley says cocoon. Yay! Yeah, Good girl, Harley. Shut yeah. up. Starfighter. <laughs> I see Starfighters. It's tight again. Yeah, I said I said first come first serve. So Chancey should be a little bit faster with his fingers. <laughs> he actually time may be the same, but Harley popped up first. So the whims of Wi-Fi, uh, it's not cool. But uh, it's not, you, you know once we get to the semifinals that these two freaking matchups in the next round don't matter. So yeah, just saying. <laughs> it's kind of the next matchup though. The series of face cocoon in the quarterfinals. Get started off by Kevin. And it's number nine, Flight of the Navigator from A6 versus number eight, The Abyss from A9. Navigator. Navigator. And Leo? Um, hmm. I really like The Abyss. I think Flight of the Navigator is... Enter, more entertaining it, from like what I remember as a kid watching it. Also, I'm gonna go with Flight of the Navigator. And Mike, uh, Flight of the Navigator. And Tyler. Even though it's not an alien movie, <laughs> you're gonna live that down, am I? And Vanessa. I'm going to give my vote to Chansey. So, Chansey, you have some time. Go to whoever's next and then figure it out. <laughs> I'm in. Yeah, all right. Well, Chansey, you get to choose between uh, Flight the Navigator and the, and the Abyss. Even though I'm pretty sure I know which way you're going to go regardless. But, uh, Chad, what's it going to be for you while we're waiting for Chansey's response? The Abyss.
And Chances of the Abyss as well. And Harley did say Navigator earlier, but... So, Abyss gets a third vote for Vanessa slash Summoning Chansey. And Felix, which way are you going to go? It's all tied up at the moment. Navigator. And I have to agree, make a Navigator win. Awesome. Which I am very right happy about. There's benefits of going last sometimes. I mean, as long as it's not a, as long as it's not running a train, but <laughs> yeah. then, then there ain't no benefits. But well, I guess lube, but ew. But uh that ew. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> That's why I said ew. But anyway. Leo gets to start off the next matchup because Flight right. of the Navigator does does move on to face Cocoon in the quarterfinals. Is it number seven, Enemy Mine from 1985, or number six, They Live from 1988? <laughs> Life's a bitch and she's back in heat. They live. <laughs> I'm not voting against John Carpenter, so you can fucking skip my turn anytime his movies come up, so... <laughs> Uh, we and we need it for dexterity purposes. And Mike, which way you want to go? They live. <laughs> and well, Tyler. They live. And Vanessa. They live in what? Enemy mine. Oh, the one with Dennis. The one with Dennis Quaid. Okay. Redemption. I'm going Dennis Quaid. <laughs> <laughs> I don't care. I was going to go with the other one, but... Wasn't it the one it. that beat the E.T. knockoff? Yeah. Yes. Uh, unfortunately. <laughs> it, it knocked off the it, it knocked off the better E.T. movie, but which way do you want to go, Chad? I've got my uh, They Live pop figure behind me, so I'm going with They Live. <laughs> nice. <laughs> and Felix? They Live. Which means They Live moves on. I'm going to throw my vote to Enemy Mine because I love both these movies. I really do, but Enemy Mine deserves another vote. But vote. which way? Yeah, well, Vanessa already voted for it, so I already had a vote. But which way are you going to be because of Dennis Quaid because she was thinking with her pants? But which way are you going to go, Kevin? Out of fear of getting hit in the head with a coconut, I'm going to go with the Rowdy Roddy Piper movie. <laughs> <laughs> nice deep cut there. Thank you. <laughs> Well, there's one matchup left to see who faces they live in the quarterfinals. Last matchup in round two. And it's number one seed, Aliens from 1986, versus number three, E.T., the extraterrestrial from 1982. Oh. Hmm. Neat. And this one, this one gets started off by Mike. Aliens. And Tyler? Aliens. Such a somber vote right there. And Vanessa? <laughs> Aliens and E.T.? Yes. Yeah, that, that's the choices. Those are the choices. <laughs> ah, I don't like this one. I like the both. <laughs> well, Chancey says Aliens. Well, I could have told you that without him commenting. Okay. Okay, Chancey. We're going aliens. And which way are you going to go, Chad? You know, do you want to go nice alien or mean alien? And I'm probably going to go mean alien all day. So aliens. <laughs> that queen's a mean bitch. But which way are you going to go there, Felix? Aliens all the way, man. And oh, me. Yeah, I'm definitely going to aliens. Fuck ET. But finish us out here, Kevin. Which way you want to go? I'll go you know what? I'll go aliens because I'm curious to see what an aliens predator uh, finals will look like. <laughs> oh, aliens has to get past they live first, but we'll see. And it has to also get past another movie before that, but we'll see. There's only been the a couple final... movies, Aliens vs. Predator, and they were not good. So I don't know if that's going to be a good final. <laughs> hey, 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 hey. Hey, speaking and, of, you know what I'm that's surprised Robot Chicken has done yet? A Robot Chicken 
You know, I'm surprised oh, wow. Robot Chicken has never done yet. I'm surprised they've never done an ET sketch where he's a proxologist. That, that just seems like very easy writing. <laughs> Honestly, I think though. they. I, I feel Ouch. like they have. Yeah. yeah, they have. <laughs> <laughs> Heck yeah. And Chance, Chancey's not wrong. The queen is a Disney princess now. <laughs> well, wait. She's a queen. So wouldn't she be a Disney queen? She'd be a queen. Like, uh, you know. I guess. And all that shit. Uh, makes more sense, honestly. But the core files are going to get started off by... Tyler, if I'm not... No, uh, Mike. Mike, I'm sorry, Mike. Game and it's... No, I started off the last one. Okay, you did. Okay, so then Tyler doesn't get started for normal. I was right. God damn Am I starting this one? Yes, you are. Okay. And I know I know my vote didn't matter on the alien round, but you never came to me anyway. So yeah, game over, man. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, well, I can see a trend. And number <laughs> this one is gonna be Tyler. First matchup in the quarterfinals. Number 20, Killer Clowns from Outer Space versus number 17, Repo Man. Hmm. Yeah, this one I'm going to have to give it to the clowns. Going to give it to the clowns? I'm going to give it to the clowns. That's what, <laughs> what, what, what thousands of naive teenage girls have been doing to ICP for years. Just saying. Good but, for them. Well, someone's got to give it to him. But, Vanessa, which way are you going to go? I am not down with this clown. So, the other one. So, you're not down to clown? Not with this clown. And, Chad? Scary. You know, I'm not saying that Killer Clowns is an all-time classic, but can we please get Repo Man out of this competition? <laughs> I know, went way too <laughs> yeah. far in that match. Oh my goodness, Killer Clowns, deserve- please. And Felix? Killer Clowns. Killer Clowns. And I have to agree on this one. Killer Clowns is better than Repo Man. So I will give that big fat yup. And Kevin? Chiodo Brothers. Killer Clowns. And actually, there's a there's a funny movie that came out a couple years ago, I think, called uh, "Isn't It Killer Clowns from Arkansas" or something like that. It's I, pronounced Arkansas, you idiot. <laughs> yeah. As the uh, right next thing, but <laughs> which way do you want to go there, Leo? I'd like to give a, a plug to the fact that there's going to be a Killer Clowns from Outer Space video game yes. uh, being released. I later. saw that. <laughs> I saw that. Yeah. Yeah. Wait, PlayStation or Xbox? Yeah. Uh, both, I think. I think. Both platforms, yeah. Yeah. I think I think it's all platforms, but Yeah. So yeah, that 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 that, 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 that clowns. Uh, I thought you were just uh, starting to sing Carnival Carnage, but okay. <laughs> But uh, which way you want to go there, Mike? Killer Clowns. <laughs> which means the Killer Clowns move on 6-1. to one. And they're going to be facing in the semifinals either, and this one gets started off by Vanessa, they're going to be facing either number 16, Transformers the Movie, or number 2, Predator. Predator. And Chad? I love Transformers so much, but Predator. And Felix? Predator. The Transformers movie from back in the day, though, was pretty good, but I have to go with Predator. And I am going to agree Predator is better than Transformers movie by far. If it was G.I. Joe the movie, I might have a little bit of competition here, just saying. But eh. a little bit. It's I, I still don't think I would go with Predator, but I damn. How can I not? It's Arnold. I mean, hell, I, I would, I vote, I would vote for Arnold in my Greek mythology movies bracket for uh, Hercules and Ian. So, <laughs> but which way do you want to go, Kevin? I was Predator, for sure. And Leo, get to the chopper. <laughs> and Mike. 
Well, I'm going to give it the pity vote. I'm going Transformers. <laughs> I'm going to give it the pity vote. Oh, avoiding the sweep in the quarterfinals. I can well. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, someone has to. And Tyler, finish us out here. Which way would you have gone? Yeah, why do you keep saying it would you have? Like, what happens doesn't change my vote. It doesn't so, change your vote, but the outcome's already been decided. So it's going to be Transformers, even though I know it's going to lose anyway. So at least Transformers got two versus uh, six for this one. But I'm happy and, that it lost to something good like Predator instead of something that it, what you call it, one of the lesser great films like that. What was the one with the pug or something? The, oh, Flight of the Navigator. Of Navigator. That's it. Flight of the Navigator is an amazing movie. It is. I highly suggest it. I, I do too. I mean, and it's 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 A's Disney. You really can't go that wrong with A's Disney movies. But and Harley says if you tune into the, to their gaming show, you can see the trailer for the Two Hundred Clowns from Outer Space game. So eighties animated Disney. I'll I'll give you that. Eighties live action Disney. Debatable. Yeah, it depends on the movie, but that one was actually really good. I actually didn't realize it was Disney even until I saw the freaking poster when I put it on this, but either way. That means the other side of the quarterfinals get started off by Chad, and it's number 10, Cocoon, versus number 9, Flight of the Navigator. Yeah, I'm going to Flight of the Navigator on this one. Oh, speaking of that other movie. <laughs> <laughs> and Felix. Flight of the Navigator. I'm giving it to Cocoon. I actually enjoy Cocoon a little more. I don't know why. I think it's just, I don't know. Seeing old people get to relive their youth, like, I kind of, like, makes me wish my grandparents could have experienced that and actually been young again. So, I don't know. I got sentimental with it. But, Kevin, which way you want to go? Yeah, Flight of Navigator, man. Uh, Sarah Jessica Parker's in this movie as well. So, yeah, just love this movie. Did she play the, she didn't play the mom, did she? No, Sarah Jessica Parker was the young girl who helped Mikey escape from the uh, hospital. In the uh, you're right, you are right. Okay, yes, I remember that now. Oh yeah, she was cute shit in that movie. But uh, which way do you want to go, Leo? Uh, I'm going to play the navigator. And Mike, fly the navigator. Which means. Fucking keyboard wants to work. That flight of navigator does move on, but which way would which way would you go, Tyler? <laughs> yeah, you like you like I corrected myself there. <laughs> and Vanessa, finish us off here. Which way are you gonna go? You already know. I'm cocooning. You just want three eighty year old guys with hard ons. <laughs> Got to get oh, paid. Well, <laughs> oh. Get that money. <laughs> but uh, that means Felix could start off the last match in the quarterfinals. And it's number six, They Live, versus number one, Aliens. Why do I get the toughest ones for, man? Damn. <laughs> How's this tough? I'll, this is a no-brainer. I'll, Honestly, Casey Box from Evening at the Movies usually ends up getting the toughest ones in all these, so there's always somebody that gets the worst ones. I made him choose between Freddy Krueger and Beetlejuice once, and that literally broke his heart in like a thousand pieces. I've watched... They Wait, Broadway Beetlejuice or more. 80s Beetlejuice? Whatever Beetlejuice you wanted to be. It was just Beetlejuice the character. Oh, uh, no. It, Alex Brightman Beetlejuice does actually pretty good. I mean... If it's not Michael Keaton, it's not Michael Keaton. It's not Beetlejuice to me, but yeah, that's me. I mean, based on that logic, if it's not Kevin Conroy, it's not Batman. I agree. Rest in power. Exactly. Mm. Since this is an alien bracket, I gotta go with aliens. Then I'm There's gonna more second aliens, that. Though, in they live though. I, I mean, aliens, aliens. I'm sorry. I mean, they, they live. It's technically alien invasion movie because it's aliens trying to take over the world. All over the world, yeah. 
I mean, aliens yeah. is literally just. Well, there's a handful went, of them, but there's... aliens is the whole aliens movies is just humans doing going places they shouldn't go, doing things they shouldn't do, to try to so make money. So, humans yeah. be the aliens actually? So, wouldn't the humans yeah. actually be the aliens? Ooh. Mind blown. Yeah, I'll go uh, I don't know, Chancy. Would the humans be the aliens and aliens, or would the aliens be the aliens? Well, technically, good... at some point, we're all aliens to somebody. Oh, I mean, we're well, we're created by aliens. So can we start in that conversation? And then we'll be here till like fucking five in the morning. But ah, uh, which way you want to go, Kevin? Oh, uh, we'll go aliens. And Leo. I know I said I can't vote against John Carpenter, but I got to be a hypocrite here because as much as I love John Carpenter, Aliens is the far superior film, so I'm going to Aliens. And Mike. Aliens. Which means Aliens is moving on into the semifinals, as pretty much everybody predicted in this, that would. And, but which way are we going to go, Tyler? What was the other option that I had? They live. Right, even though Transformers was just knocked out, Alien Superior, They Live Inferior. <laughs> and actually, Chansey has a good point. Both of us would be alien to the planet they were on in that movie. It's a good point. Because that the queen and her species was the... the what the fuck do they call me? Exo... Xenomorph. 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 Xenomorphs, yeah. I don't want to say that. So. Xenomorph. Yeah, I mean, they weren't originally from that planet either. As we all know, because of uh, Prometheus. But which way do you want to go, Vanessa? What were the options again? Aliens versus they live. Oh, aliens. And Chad, finish us out here. Aliens. Which means Aliens moves on to the semifinals with a sweep. And the first side of the semifinals is going to get started off by me. And I don't want to start this one. Fuck. Yeah, every time. I forgot. Every time I start one, I don't want to start it. But it's, it's number 20, Killer Clouds from Outer Space, versus number 2, Predator. <laughs> this was inevitable. You know what? I'm going to throw in the Killer Clowns just for the fuck of it. Because I don't see them moving on at all. But I could be surprised. Kevin, which way you want to go? Um, I think I'm going to go Predator. When he actually revealed his face for the very first time in that movie, it was I, I really enjoyed that part. So, yeah. The makeup, the makeup in Predator was... Oh, good. very well done. Yeah. I mean... Kevin wanted to see that pussy face revealed. I but, did. I did. But, I uh... Like her face. You know it's funny that they say a pussy looks like that. It looks like a snake's mouth when it's full, fully open. Like, there are certain things here that are just nature's trying to tell us, I think. But... It looks like apple pie. Feels like, like, apple, like yeah. apple pie. Oh, oh, yeah. Only to Jason fucking Biggs. <laughs> But, uh, Leo, which way do you want to go? Uh, I'm going with that ugly motherfucker, the Predator. <laughs> and Mike? Predator. <laughs> and that's going to bring it down to Tyler. Predator, because I want to see at least one Peter Cullen movie make it to the top list. <laughs> And Vanessa. So I just asked a friend of mine to vote for me. I was like, aliens or predator, quick. So she says predator. Well, okay. It's predator versus killer clowns, but okay. Oh, that's okay. It's clowns. She's okay. She never mind. She wouldn't have done that. <laughs> she doesn't like clowns. Never mind. Anyways, anything but clowns, whatever that is. <laughs> and Chanty says he wishes we had the John Claude version of predator. I'm pretty sure that's in the. Oh, wait, was that like the original plan for it? Was Jean-Claude Van Damme before it became Arnold? Jean-Claude Van Damme actually filmed a couple 
scenes. He was in the like, predator thing. Is John he was, he Claude was Van Damme supposed to be the predator? Yeah. Or is he supposed yeah. to he was he was in the original costume that they had originally designed, but he got fired from the production because uh, he was a pain in the ass. And then after he got fired, was he a pain it, in the ass, or was he complaining about every every? He didn't want to wear the makeup. He didn't want to wear the costume. Much he thought his face him. was going to be on screen, all that stuff. And then after they fired him, they brought in Stan Winston, who redesigned the creature, and that's the one that we got in the film. And huh. Chancy said, Chancy said the John Claude version was awful. So. Yeah, I take. You can see I, I there's, there's video on YouTube of him in the costume. Uh, as much as much as my as much as my mother loved John Claude Van Damme in the '90s, I have to I have to say I'm happy I didn't get that version of it. But I would not want to see the alien do a split. <laughs> <laughs> you know what? I kind of do. Yeah, I'm thinking about it. I do. You know, I mean, it, it's John Claude Van Damme contractually had to do splits and show his ass, so you would have got both if he was Predator. And I kind of want to see it now, though. <laughs> you go on YouTube, you can see it. <laughs> and Chad, which way do you want to go? Predator, obviously. And finish us out, Felix. Predator. <laughs> which means I saved Killer Clowns from getting sweeped. Thank God. Because it need, it didn't, I didn't want to get sweeped. It's a, it's a classic. But that means Predator does move on to the finals. And Pure Clowns moves on to the third and fourth place matchup. But the other side of the semifinals is going to is going to get started by Kevin. Wait, yeah. Kev. Yeah. Yeah. You did the last one. Yeah, okay. Uh, yeah, I'm right. I'm right. Okay. And it's number nine, Flay the Navigator, versus number one, Aliens. Ooh. I'm a, hmm. I'll go Aliens. Damn it. Yeah. Leo? Aliens. And Mike? Aliens. And Tyler? Definitely Aliens. And Vanessa. Yep. <laughs> Which brings up the Chad. Aliens. And Felix. Let's sweep it up. Well, it's not gonna be a sweep because I'll throw Navigator a fucking vote because it's a cute movie. Thank you, thank you. I didn't yeah, we're never gonna have a sweep either. at this point, are we? <laughs> it, you shouldn't have sweeps in the final after the quarterfinals. It should be a hard choice. <laughs> like I, I can't. Yeah, a classic yeah. '80s film yeah. against some Disney thing. <laughs> no, well, no this, it was actually a hard choice for me. I love Flight of the Navigator. I agreed. It is. I, it is I, really I, cute, but like I, the whole point is aliens. Yeah, that's where I'm getting. I went against my love for John Carpenter to get aliens this far. I wasn't going to ruin it by voting on Flight of the Navigator. (laughs) No, exactly. I mean, I mean, I I am a fan of alien movies with a time lapse element because that's realistic. So that's why I vote for Navigator because it has a time lapse thing, which is very predictable, but. That means that the third and fourth place matchup is going to get started off by Leo. And it's number 20, Killer Clowns from Outer Space versus number 9, Flight of the Navigator. Hmm. This for, the, for the pure cult status of it and campiness, I'm going to go Killer Clowns. And Mike? I'm going to go with Flight. <laughs> what was that? What was that, Mike? Sorry. I'm going to go with Flight of the Navigator. Ooh, keep it interesting. And Tyler? Just to make sure Flight of the Navigator gets off this list, Killer Clowns. <laughs> Such a hater. And Vanessa? I don't like clowns. You don't like clowns, but like, though. You know what? Yeah, see, I'm so easily influenced. <laughs> I was like, you know what? Yeah, okay, I'd kind of like to get it off of this list, but now I'm like, 
found. <laughs> Ooh. Um, I was even disappointed by it though. So yeah, I guess I'm gonna go not the clown. <laughs> the other one. <laughs> the navigator one. So you want Girl, to you're the boy off. Fuck. My mind is a roller coaster, okay. <laughs> roller coaster. I'm like, yes, yes, oh! <laughs> ADHD does things. No. But, <laughs> but uh Chad, which way you want to go? This is tough. I really like Flight of Navigator. I just I don't inherently think of it as an alien movie per That's se. What I'm thinking too. So it was a boy, boy abducted by aliens. Yeah, <laughs> it's, it's, the whole ship is an alien. He had aliens on the ship. What do you think the little Sh ships aren't aliens, according to our host? Bug here. thing, you know. Guy that, was... That's not an alien. It's a, it's a robot. Those don't count. It's art. It's artificial intelligence. <laughs> yeah. So yes, because apparently transformers don't count as aliens or abyss either. <laughs> Unless there's a little fucking guy controlling it, like in Men in Black. <laughs> but which uh, God, which way you want to go, Felix? Navigator or Killer Clowns? What's the count on it right now? Yeah. <laughs> Three or two. I ain't going to tell you which way. Sticking with the aliens part, yeah, the alien. I mean, the the clowns are aliens. They're here, turning us into cotton candy shit. So I would have to go killer clowns. Finally, and I'm gonna throw it to fight the navigator, which means Kevin can either tie it up or make the killer clowns win third place. Absolutely not. We're gonna give the navigator some love. <laughs> Which means it goes to the audience, and Harley said, "Kill clowns." Kill clowns. So, and Chancey just said, "Kill clowns" as well. So, clowns wins. I don't. I don't clowns see win. that in the audience. I don't. I don't. I don't see that. <laughs> Two people that clowns. So, I mean, it kind of is an synonymous at this point. But that brings us to the first. That brings us to the grand finale matchup. What is what, and, does Nancy's vote count because he spelled clowns wrong? He spelled it with a C. Yeah. <laughs> they well, Harley vote. Yeah. Fuck yeah. them kids. Yeah. Yep, Chancy says fuck them kids. So <laughs> hashtag FTK as we say I'm bastards. But the final matchup is gonna get started off by Mike. And it's number two predator versus number one aliens. Aliens. Mm -hmm. And see, if I did this bracket the way I did other brackets, these two would have already faced off in like the second round or or quarterfinals. So, be happy I did it this way. But uh, which way you want to go, Tyler? Predator. And Vanessa. Yep. And Chad. Well, I think you know. If you look at Aliens, the movie, it's not set on Earth, where Predator actually is on Earth. So I'm more afraid of Aliens coming here because I'm not going out there. So let's go with Predator. <laughs> and Felix? First, I'd like to point out, I was, I'm was i probably the only one here that's been abducted by Aliens. <laughs> no joke. Ask Kevin. He knows the story. What, you get probed? <laughs> they did something to me, man. They've never been the same since. But I need to know more. <laughs> I need to get you a normal, on a regular episode of this show, but yes. <laughs> Are you yeah, sitting on a donut? Go to the uh, Mod Squad Network. Seriously. The, and there was three of us. So it's not like one of us, you know, all three of us can tell you what happened. And we got put back a second to oh, never mind. Um, I'm sure it must be a very sore spot for you. <laughs> oh my god! Okay, I'm done. Right. This is uh, this is a tough one, man. Alien versus Predator. I I, I mean, Chad made me because I was going well, aliens all the way. So I heard you know what Chad said about them coming here and mm -hmm. yada yada yada, and that's true. 
Chansey says extraterrestrials running more pedestrians in their spaceship while they're screaming at them. Let's just be friends. Is <laughs> that an Eminem look? You know, it actually was the first um, South Park episode. Carmen gets an anal probe. No, the best, the bet, the better version is Cartman gets an anal probe again. Yeah, and then that was the whole recap episode where they have to relive the whole thing. Kevin, what yeah. did you go with the aliens or Predator? I don't know. I'm not going to tell you my vote. <laughs> <laughs> Flip a coin Chad, if you have Chad, to. Chad, you went with Predator, right? Yeah, I'm Predator all the way. Aliens is losing horribly at this point. Put it that way. I'm going to go with The aliens. Aliens. There you go. The 90s kid in me has to go for Arnold. So I'm voting Predator. It's not the 90s. But it, the 90s kid in me always will vote for Arnold because it's fucking Arnold Schwarzenegger. Wasn't, wasn't the movie in the 80s? Doesn't matter what the movie is. I'm saying the 90s kid that's inside me because I grew up in the 90s. That's when so. he was like really super popular. Like, what kid me? Was the Ice Age? <laughs> it feels it feels like some days. Yeah, but Kevin, yes. Kevin, which way you want to go? Predator. <laughs> that, that was actually a perfect mimic of the predator, predator noise for a second. Nice. And uh, finish us out here, Leo. Which way would you have gone? Uh, I love both movies. I've seen them both, you know, a hundred times. But I think. I'm going to go Predator. I always enjoyed that a little bit more. Which means Predator wins this with a 6-2 to two vote. And our final four tonight are number four, Flight of the Navigator, number the number nine seed from 86. Our third place is number 20, Killer Class Mars Space from 88. Our second place is number one seed, Aliens from 1986. And our number one seed is number two, Predator from 1987. You like how we reverse the actual rankings. Mm -hmm. But that's going to do it for tonight, folks, after two hours and 42 minutes. And Chansey says, long, tall Sally. She's really sweet. She's got everything Uncle John needs. <laughs> but I want to thank all my guests for coming on tonight. It's been a fun fucking show, and it was a blast. And we'll definitely have you all back on at some point or another in other brackets. The next bracket that Paranormal Learning New Normal will be doing. Oh, okay. The next one will be Monster, uh, Most Awesome Creatures of All Time Part 2 in our break between the movie brackets because I need time to watch movies. But in probably the end of April, hopefully, we'll be doing the top 50 serial killer movies of all time. Damn. Which has movies from the 30s to present day. So that's going to be a shit show. I just literally uploaded like 40 something movies to my watch list on Letterboxd. So, yay. But uh, apparently, I don't watch serial killer movies. But, Chad, where can they find you and your podcast and everything you do? Yeah, the podcast is called Not, Not Quite Cool. And we can be found on YouTube under uh, Bean Dip Productions. Uh, the Not Quite Cool podcast is we just cover, you know, pop culture movies and things like that. But we also have a sister podcast, Not Quite Darkness, where we cover all of the 80s horror movies from the In Search of Darkness documentary series. Uh, and you can find us on uh, Twitter X at NQC Podcast. And Felix, where, where can they find you? You can find me at the Mod Squad Network. Um... I think that's what it is on in Facebook. We got a Facebook community, uh, the official Mod Squad community, and then the uh, Mod Squad Network on YouTube. And you can find that video uh, of me getting <laughs> abducted. We I go into it, everything. It's like an a go to the uh, thumbnail that has a little alien and ghost guy. Kevin tells his story about something that happened to him. All right, it's fun. I'll definitely check it out. And Kevin, where can they find you? Uh, Felix already covered the Mod Squad where I'm all I'm on as well, but you can find me at Back to the Retro Review where I review movies from the 70s, 80s, 90s, and thousands. Well, buddy, I'll have to grab you for a lot more brackets coming up because there's a lot of 
brackets are 70s 80s 90s and 2000s coming up at some point and i'm telling you the amount of brackets i made for this show over the last six months is going to take decades to go through decades but still we'll get to them eventually even if i'm old and gray and using a cane while i'm podcasting but unless i find the goop then i'll be young again but leo and mike where can they find you guys like go so, separate together it's up to you <laughs> mike should i take it you take it lee you're the one that does it <laughs> so mike and i along with our friend kevin uh host the podcast looks films and fermentation three friends who like to talk shit about movies while getting shit faced uh you can find Ooh, us like at that. you can find us at the deluxe edition network at deluxe edition network.com or you can go to linktree.com slash films and fermentation to find all of our social media and podcast links. We are on all major podcast platforms and all social media platforms. And Tyler, where can they find you and your show? Shows. Uh, I am currently on Spotify and YouTube. You can find for the Geek Talk with Tyler show. I talk about things, comic, graphic novel, media, anime, et cetera, et cetera. I am on Facebook, Instagram, and if you have it, LinkedIn, um, our audio series, The Undateable X-Men, will be released later this year. And we will be having a follow-up podcast to that, the Our Undateable X-Men, as we have a Q&A for each of our following cast members who have been involved in the production, from voice actors to audio editors to people who donated their songs for the series. Yeah. To even the theme song writer, Mr. C himself. Very nice. And if you go check out Tyler's show, the last episode that dropped, I believe, is the one I was on where we talked non-mainstream music and we dove into some comic book stuff as well because, of course, we did. It's, it always tends to go to comic books at some point. But, Vanessa, where can they find you these days since you've been gone for so long? Well, I'm not doing any podcasting, but you can find me on all the social medias at X Vanessa Rain and uh, keep up with me there because I may decide to come back doing podcasting full time at some point. I'm still working out some shit. But of course, Jeremy and Freddie, you guys will be the first ones to know. Yep. That's exactly. Okay, Freddie, he's not watching, but you know he will be one of the first ones too. Of course, and you can find paranormal paranormal normal on Facebook as uncensored, unapologetic, and untamed podcast collective. YouTube, you can find us on XX Baby and the Gram as that Juggalo Bastard. You can find us on TikTok as that Juggalo Bastard podcast, and you can find us on YouTube as paranormal normal. Or you can catch us streaming live on Facebook as Parapost Network, a great place for all vodcasts and podcasts. And we're also a proud member of the Blind Knowledge Network. Because all, no- all knowledge is blind until people start making space balls and ETR trash. But I mean, that's, it, we're going to be blind for a while if that's the case. So I will be back on Sunday with a, no- a whole different panel for the same bracket over again. It's going to be a shit show, I'm sure, again. And we'll see if we have the same outcome or not. But... It, until then, thank you everybody for watching that watched, and thank you listeners for listening. Like and subscribe, fucking everywhere. And I am out. <laughs>